that dual it just again. Uh, remember, we can't do it with the way you yellow it out or they yellow it out. So you have to send me it on regular email and I'll print it. We are live. Good morning. Good morning. Friday. Oh, we are Friday. It's the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today featuring General Motors. This stop on the road show is presented by Axalta, Oreo, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Here's Paul. It's Friday! Yay! That's right, it is Friday, March 26th, the 85th day of 2021. There are 280 days left in the year. <laughs> Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift, especially Fridays, or at least seemingly so. It would seem that way. And this one's an extra special one. It's our WJR Roadshow featuring General Motors. We've done it every Friday of this month, and I have a feeling you're going to be hearing more of our WJR Roadshows throughout the days ahead. Uh, the team, the team, the team is here. Marie Osborne just finishing the news. Thank you, Marie. Uh, Dana Clark with traffic and weather. And uh, of course, uh, Brian Morton behind the scenes. I doubt that he's wearing his robe, but he has one. Uh, he's in WJR Control One. Kim is in the southernmost portion of uh, Detroit and probably has her robe on. Uh, and uh, I know our executive producer, Ann Thomas, has her robe. Uh, good morning, Annie. Good morning, Dub. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So Friday. Uh, I couldn't find my robe, and then Sophie came over, <laughs> and I said, "You haven't seen my my robe, have you?" And she goes, "Oh, it might be in my room." Oh, oh. I thought it was very cute because she, cute. she has her own robe, but she oh. was wearing the one that says oh. Paul. Polly. Oh, cute! Very nice. Polly. So, uh, so this is, is, is that blue? Um, yes. Oh, yours the, is blue. The printing? The writing, yes. I, I think it is, yeah. Gotcha. Um, later, uh, Kim found she could get them kind of in, in a, I think it was either the robe was maize or the robe was blue and the print was whatever else it was. Mm -hmm. um, but this was uh, Kim's idea. She found these robes. She loved them. and So comfy. They became gifts to all you guys and a few mm -hmm. of our other yes. special mm -hmm. friends. They are very comfortable. <laughs> so cozy. I love I don't, I, these robes on a cold, windy Yes, perfect. Morning. They're perfect. Yeah, this is really, it perfect. is very comfortable. And I'll be taking it off as quickly as I can. Okay, I was going to ask about I'll be, that. I'll be too warm. Okay. But it is, we don't want you to overheat. It is, <laughs> it is soft and uh, it feels very, very good. Um, What's going on? Anybody have anything? Oh, I know the president last night. Anything else? Uh, there's uh, so much going on, certainly with our COVID numbers today. Uh, they are up uh, Horrible. Again, more than 5,000 today. Mm -hmm. Yesterday's numbers were Horrible. more than 5,000. So mm -hmm. I think Dr. Mm -hmm. Seams yesterday summed it up pretty good, Paul, when he said to you, this is what happens when you open things up. Mm -hmm. Dr. Right? Sims was on... Uh, national news last night being uh, being uh, interviewed um, with Lester Holt on NBC, as a matter of fact. Mm. We've got a, a lot of things to cover here today. Marie sent me a story about the Caucus Club. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's a whole different take. Well, see, now I'm the sleeves are making me <laughs> knock papers off my desk. This isn't. This is not going to work. Anyway, the caucus club with a new take on no shirts, no shoes, no service. Now they don't want you to come in smelling like marijuana. Oh, it's a new day. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a moment. 543 at WJR. This report is sponsored by LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Tax season can be a big headache if identity thieves steal personal info from your tax forms. LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. 
Let's uh, check it. Our WJR traffic and weather first step to 543. Dana Clark. No, no surprise. It's busy out there. Raindrops, that's all you need. Traffic first sponsored by Liberty Title, protecting property since 1974, $2 billion a year. Is lost to cybercrime and identity theft in real estate transactions. Liberty Title ensures and secures your closing dollars, now offering creative closing options to keep you safe, including remote online notarization, curbside and contactless closings, you have a choice. Choose LibertyTitle.com. Southfield Freeway southbound at Schoolcraft. Earlier accident is clear. 94 westbound at 75 accident blocking the right shoulder of that ramp. Also 75 northbound ramp to 94. Flooding is reported on that ramp, so use caution. U.S. 23 southbound at M14 accident blocking that U.S. 23 southbound connector to M14 eastbound. Traffic is being diverted to M14 westbound. Then you could exit a Barton Drive to M14 eastbound, but just avoid the area. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Shelving.com. Shelving.com is a one-stop shop for the products your warehouse needs. Double your space with Unirac pallet racks and modular mezzanines or grab Klein and Milwaukee tools for light repairs to large-scale installations. Shelving.com, we rack your world. Winds rarely whipped up now. The heaviest rainfall tapering uh, off the showers this morning. Clouds that give way to some sun get. this afternoon, 57. Those west winds coming in screaming 30 plus miles per hour. Colder night tonight. Finally back into the 30s, mid 30s. Suburbs even chillier. Considerably cloudy tomorrow, low 60s. Windy with a few showers Sunday, highs low 50s. From the Weather Channel, meteorologist Ray Stage News News 760 WJR. I can't hear you guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can. Is, is the weather done? Yes. All right. We're going to just, uh, if you can hear me, I'm going to have to, I found a short in the wire because I just mm -hmm. moved this wire mm -hmm. because I knocked the papers over with my sleeve and then the wire was there. I just moved that wire just a little and it shut me off again like it did yesterday. So that's, that's where the problem is apparently. So I'm going to have to reboot this, but let me first say that we've got Rush Limbaugh with a with a memory of Rush, and also that it will tie it in with the fact that General Motors is being featured today. When I used to fill in for Rush Limbaugh, I wanted to have Rick Wagner on, who was running General Motors at the time, mm -hmm. and Rush's people, not Rush ever, because Rush was always on vacation or gone when I would fill in, but Rush's people said, oh, well, we don't like the auto industry because they run the nanny state with the UAW and, and it's bad. So we don't like the auto industry. I said, I want to have Rick Wagner on. It'll be good for the listeners and, and it'd be good for Rick to hear what they have to say and, you know, whatever. And I had to fight, but I did get him on. So uh, that was the first time that uh, any auto executive like that had ever been on Russia's show and maybe ever again. But Rick was on and it went over very, very well. In fact, my memory is that they, for at least a brief time, started advertising on a show because I assume Rick heard from so many people saying, hey, I heard you on the Rush Limbaugh show when they probably weren't paying attention to that show at that time. So that's my little GM tie in Rick Wagner in on Rush's show when I filled in for him. Here is the Rush Limbaugh moment this morning. Got some hot news from NASA, folks. Saturn's rings are disappearing faster than anybody thought. And it's very, very bad news. Saturn's rings disappearing is being caused by excessive global heat from Earth's auto industry, SUVs and stuff, and factory farming, along with President Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Climate Accords. Actually, I made that up. But it sounds just like the drivel we always are told whenever science announces a new crisis, right? Now, the real reason Saturn's rings are disappearing is that they're made mostly of ice. Gravity is pulling the rings down to the surface of Saturn, and they're falling to the surface as ring water. Scientists who are brilliant at predictions used to think that the rings had 300 million years to live. But after a Cassini spacecraft Saturn flyby, the science has been revised. and Now the rings only have 100 million years to live. I truly hope they and we make the best of that time because 100 million years, I mean, it'll be up before we know it. And the sea levels are going to have risen so high that we're all going to probably have drowned by then, unless we're dead first. It's 100 million years. 
Rush Limbaugh, noon to three today, right here on WJR. Well, um, can you hear me? Yes. Because I can hear you now, too. Yes, yes, yes. Very odd. I guess I'm going to have to order another one of those little um, connectors. This all because of uh, Apple changing on the newest computers the plugins. You know, they're that thin one instead of the regular USB we're all used to. Mm-hmm. So I have to use an adapter to plug these headphones into this uh, computer. And it's gone bad, apparently. Bob says, where can his wife buy the robe, Paul W.? We'll have to, we'll ha- I don't, Kim might have gone back to sleep because she sent a whole bunch of stuff um, very early. So I'm assuming she fell back asleep. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. But they are, I think they're like one size fits all and amazingly comfortable mm-hmm. for, for a guy who doesn't like to wear robes too much. Mm-hmm. Shelly, oh, Marie? Center. Shelly says micro center for the, for the little adapters, but I oh. think that, you know what, Paul, you need to talk to uh, Ray about that. Cause I have to, <laughs> you, Poor Ray you needs to give you the, the adapter. There's a certain adapter yeah. that we need to use. Well, I have the adapter. I mean, I, I, I bought it a long time ago. I've been using it forever. Yeah, but I I, so, my, I can't use my little earbuds either for that very same reason because it's just terrible. The short and it is just terrible. And I I think it has something to do actually with the Comrex that we're using. Hmm. Well, this now I not, I know that's not the case here because oh. the Comrex is not coming into play at all. Oh. That's a, yours is oh. he. I, I was going to have him do. For me, what he did for you, yeah. but I said no because it doesn't work well enough. The the quality is is spotty, so my Comrex system continues to be a completely separate system. Okay, um, I they they're not tied in together at all. Oh, and all right. and thankfully I don't have this trouble at all with the regular mm-hmm. microphone, the regular mm-hmm. headphones, and the Comrex. It's just this additional thing. I mean, these are cheap little headphones they're like i don't know annie what did we pay like 1995 or something yeah exactly. wow. so mm-hmm. i th- i think what the problem is is with a cheap headphone comes bad wiring Cord, yeah. and, you know i because i i take this off after quarter after except on days when we're doing our road show and i take it off and then i i kind of put it in a little pile out of the way while i put my other system on and i you know, this little wire gets twisted or pinched or squeezed, and it's unfortunate. All right, so anyway, uh, the Caucus Club, what's the story here, Marie? Oh, the Caucus Club, which is, you know, such a great uh, downtown restaurant. They are asking people, reminding them. I think that after the pandemic, people have just become slobs. So they're showing up in hoodies. <laughs> they're showing up in a hood. And, and I find it ironic that we're talking about this and we're doing our show in bathrobes. But mm-hmm. nonetheless. Um, so we Classy so, bathrobes. I was going to say, sharp <laughs> bathrobes. But they're showing up in hoodies and, you know, they have a dress code. It's business casual, which is easy enough to do, right? But the one that really caught my eye was that people come in there reeking of pot and they don't want that anymore. And I don't know about all of you, but I've gone to so many places. I'm stopped at a light and I'm in a parking lot. and I. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. You know, I don't understand this uh, problem with the wire. If there's a short, how could it be a short that would affect my hearing uh, in the headphones but not affect my microphone? Because it's one cord that goes up to both of them, the the microphone and the uh, earpiece, whatever. Um, we were just uh, hearing from Maria a story she sent to us about the caucus club in Detroit warning diners to dress properly and not smell like marijuana. 
And then uh, Marie was saying that uh, she could be stopped at a red light. She could be wherever. And she's always smelling uh, marijuana these days. And it's I, I was fascinated by that because I have no idea what marijuana smells like. Well, actually, <laughs> I, I, let, me, <laughs> let me just qualify that. We stopped at a light and I'd say to my husband, what is that smell that I'm smelling? What is that? Like the, like the you know. Yeah. And he said, Marie, that's pot. So I'm like, oh, I don't understand that. Well, I don't, it's not your fault for not knowing because it has changed uh, aromas, if you mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. uh, I've discovered that at a, I think Kim and I were like at the Rolling Stones concert at Ford Field or something. And I smelled a skunk. That's I exactly thought. right. Yeah. I thought I, I thought, how did a skunk get into Ford Field? <laughs> Partying. And she said, no, I was in the, the restroom and I smelled it. And somebody told me that that was like hydroponic or, uh, uh, or commercially grown marijuana. I went, yes. you're kidding me. Well. Do you guys smell it, Dana? And oh, yeah. Oh yeah, this this could be good. Okay, just just in, this could be good though for the restaurant. Hello, somebody, because <laughs> you are going to buy everything on the menu. Oh, <laughs> so here's my suggestion: if somebody yeah. comes in and they smell a little bit, excuse me, sir, ma'am, can I just have you? Can we just like do a little spray, just a little bit over here, if you don't mind? You know, if you want to do that and come back in cool, because we just don't want to disturb the rest of our guests. But you, you are welcome to come in and buy here's all our, of here's page our special, one. Here's our <laughs> special <laughs> blasted menu. Right. And if you just let them walk around for just a second, just walk around for a second, it'll spread. It'll mm -hmm. have a little, and then everybody else is, oh, oh my gosh, I'm famished. I'm I, know I, had, I know I had one entree, but I don't know. I could I eat another, another one. Oh, I don't know what happened. I could so, eat another one. Just, just oh. having fun, that's all. <laughs> Dana, what an awesome idea. I, I have millions Always of them, Always thinking. There's a million <laughs> ideas. That was just one of them. Uh, today is uh, National Nougat. Nugget, nougat, I guess mm -hmm. is how you say it. N-O-U-G-A-T, Nougat Day. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, interesting, the, the Three Musketeer Bars, which hasn't been talked about in years. We've talked about it a few times recently. But the Three Musketeer Bars originally consisted of three flavors, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. During World War II rationing, they were limited to vanilla flavoring, and they remain this way today. Nougat is commonly found in candy bars, Milky Way, Three Musketeers, Snickers, Polar, etc. Uh, today's nougat is a mixture of sucrose and corn syrup with a whipping agent to create its fluffy texture. Now, this is interesting because I never knew this history. Nougat was put into candy bars to resemble the texture and flavor of ice cream, and that is why early candy bars with nougat were commonly served frozen. Mm -hmm. Remember when mm -hmm. people pull a, I, I'll never forget the first time somebody pulled a candy bar out of a freezer and said, here, mm -hmm. you want to have this uh, Three Musketeer or whatever it was? And it was frozen, and I'd never thought about putting a candy bar in the freezer. And that's, they say, one of the reasons why. That was, mm -hmm. that was imitating ice cream back in the day. Yes. It's National Spinach Day also. Yeah. Spinach is good. So good for you. Mm -hmm. And Popeye. <laughs> it is uh, 5.57 at WJR. Am I supposed to be hearing something here? LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. And let's check it right here, right now, our WJR Traffic and Weather First and Dana Clark. Traffic First, sponsored by Window World. Call Window World, 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW for your window, door, or siding project. Get 0% financing for 60 months. Window World is America's largest exterior replacement remodeler and a trusted team partner of WJR's Inside Outside Guys. Call 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW or visit windowworlddetroit.com. In Troy, we have a closure due to an electrical pole fire cruiser on the scene 
Avoid Rochester Road, a southbound right before Long Lake and Waddles. You can take Livernoy or John R. instead. Otherwise, a few problems out there. A US 23 southbound connector ramp to M14 eastbound. That off ramp is closed due to an accident there. 75 northbound at 94. That earlier collision is clear. Well, that was flooding as well. 94 eastbound after eight mile accident blocks a left lane and 94 westbound at 75 accident on that right shoulder. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Gordon Chevrolet. Gordon Chevrolet is selling the hottest vehicles in town. Pull ahead your lease. Take advantage of 0% for up to 84 months or sign and drive lease program. End of the month deals open special hours this Saturday, 9 to 3. Gordon Chevrolet, Ford Road, just west of Merriman and Garden City. GordonChevrolet.com. Rain showers, 41 degrees at uh, rain tapering off at least after 8 a.m. this morning. But a wind advisory in effect until 11 a.m. High today, 59 degrees. Tonight, cloudy skies, quite cold, partly cloudy overnight. Your low 36. So what's in store for the weekend? Looks like it's going to be dry on Saturday, a high of 60. And then rain showers uh, early on Sunday morning, a high near 50. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie Osborne in about two minutes. Speaking of the weather, how about all that trouble in Alabama and Georgia? Yeah. Big, night. Big wow. Tornadoes. Five people, five Ugh. people dead. That's terrible. That is, is. terrible. I this know, weather I, is I nothing to play five with. People died. Wow. Yeah. That's um, a lot. And, it's, and they 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 had a heads up too. I mean, they, they best they can best they can do. They had a heads up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, where was it in Alabama that they died? Uh, ha ha ha. East Alabama, a town in East Alabama, in Calhoun County. Um, a lot of damage there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Not good. Thoughts and thoughts and prayers with the folks there. Yeah, this right. is the time of year we're going to start seeing a lot of action. When is 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 our tornado season the same time as everybody else's? Well, the South is a little ahead of us, but we're coming up April. You know, we, we get a fair amount of trouble in April and May. So, but the South your, is calling now. Does your robe say Annie? My robe says Annie, yes. Oh, nice. Dana, yours is Dana? Yes. Oh, yep. Just regular. And Trevor's was Trevor? Yes. Was uh, was the barrister's, did it say the barrister on it? I can't barrister, remember. Barrister, yes. Mm -hmm. the barrister, got it. Okay. Yes, cool. sir. I don't think I don't think Kim is up because she would have responded to the question as to where yeah. they, uh, they came from. Once she does, I can send a note. Um, I can go on Facebook and tell. I think it's Bob who Bob Bob Darima mm -hmm. wants to know. Well, this is uh, at least for the time being our last little gathering, and boy, we have a lot of people all together here. Uh, if you hadn't heard, if you weren't here, I don't know yesterday, whatever. Yesterday, with the change, with Frank leaving um, his regular show, uh, they've asked us to go till ten. But then that means they're starting us at six, and four hours. Trust me, is a very long talk show. That's why you don't hear about too many four-hour talk shows. But six to ten, which I was reminded by somebody, I was I used to be on six to ten, but that's another story. Uh, we're going back to six to ten, and unfortunately for the time being at least uh our little uh, stream yard our streaming zooming whatever you want to call it that we're doing uh the first half hour then first 45 minutes of the show is going away so uh unfortunately this will be our last gathering like this except for special shows like this uh with what we're doing today uh and uh, featuring general motors we'll have other shows that will feature uh, maybe locations and whatever. Some of them will be going to in the opening world, although with the numbers being worse than ever, that's that's going to be a, a bit of a problem. So um, I don't, we'll have to see about that, right? You're right. We're playing it by ear, and uh, which is not unusual in radio to play it by ear. <laughs> um, so we've got all that going on. 
It is Live Long and Prosper Day. Oh, you know, back to spinach for a second. How did spinach get such a bad reputation? Hmm. For some odd reason, spinach does Because oh, it's a vegetable. I was going to say, it's a kids vegetable. Kids didn't want to eat it so like until President Popeye Bush, came out. <laughs> President Bush wouldn't eat broccoli. Right. And some people won't eat spinach. And you're right, Dana. When all of a sudden, Popeye the Sailor Man touted the value of spinach. And I suspect many a mother used that mm -hmm. information to get their kids to eat the spinach. Mm -hmm. There are people, it says here, that will not even try it, no matter how it's prepared. What? Missing I out. Know, I don't understand that. you got to try everything. Mm -hmm. How about Joe Muir's spinach? What? You should, at the very least, oh, try Joe man. Muir's spinach. Oh, they yeah. do with the, the sautéed or cream okay, spinach sure. is out of this world. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't get any better so than good. that. If you're going to start with trying it, Try Joe Muir's. Yes. Do you guys have gardens at home? No. They I don't have a green thumb at all. They say to be, if you're a gardener, plant some spinach. Mm. Mm. No. Mm. I'd be having even more deer than I already. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did find this new product called Deer Scram. Okay. And um, so far, so good. Mm. It really Is it a spray? No, it's, it's uh, like a little granules. Okay. You, you spread, you sprinkle it everywhere. Okay. And mm -hmm. it keeps them away? So far, so good. Yes. It's the best I've now, seen. Bill oh, says okay. if you eat spinach, it will negate all the calcium you have. Mm. Okay. That's not a good idea. Mm. Just oh. have to take your supplement. Spinach is great, especially with a warm bacon vinaigrette, mm. cream spinach. Yeah, I mean, even spinach salad. Mm -hmm. spinach so salad good. Recipe. Spinach salad is really tasty. Yeah. Uh, well, Patrick, thank you. Sad to miss this daily view into your world. It's been pretty special. We've thought it was pretty special as well. And somebody else says this is the only good thing that came from the virus. Hmm. Oh. Well, no. this may, you know, this may just be temporary. So. Yeah, we don't know. So we, you we're know, in a holding pattern. We just go in and do what they tell us to do. So, like I say, it could very well be temporary. People are asking us who's on from ten to noon, and Ann just is throwing in a bunch of different uh, fill-in people. Um, I call it auditions uh, because everyone is looked at as a possible uh, replacement host. Not that you ever replace Frank, but there's somebody who's going to be on the air from, uh, I hope, 9 till <laughs> noon. Um, but for the time being, with people who haven't necessarily been on the radio a lot, they're going to be on from 10 till noon, which will be easier for people who haven't done this before. You know, I was very touched yesterday, Paul, by all the people that were calling in and talking to you and Frank and um, how they talked about how both you and Frank impact their lives and all the different things that we do for people throughout the community. There were some really nice stories yesterday for Frank. Yeah, they sure, they sure were. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm glad that we were able to do that because people don't get a chance to, uh, mm -hmm. to talk to us directly. Um, in that case, uh, remembering things for years. Right. That we don't even remember or think you know, about. We all do things that we, we don't take them for granted. It's just that we do a lot of things and um, it's nice to hear from listeners in the way that it affects them uh, along the way. We've got, we've got, we've got a great lineup of people on this radio station and we have for years. And we have a great lineup of listeners. We love to it's interact. The WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today featuring General Motors. This stop on the road show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Here's Paul. It's Friday! Yay! Oh boy, you can say that again. Yay! Well, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Friday, March 26th, the 85th day of 2021 already. There are 280 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. 
And this one includes our WJR Roadshow featuring General Motors on the Paul W. Smith Show. And we will be talking with some folks from General Motors and talking about how great things are going for them. It is a live long and prosper day. We're living long and prospering with Marie Osborne in news, Dana Clark, traffic and weather, uh, Brian Morton pressing all the right buttons. I think Kim is toes up and Ann Thomas wide awake as our executive producer. Good Friday morning to you, Ann. Well, good morning, Dub. Happy Friday. The uh, uh, live long and prosper is saying from science officer, first officer Spock, mm -hmm. uh, the Vulcan <laughs> aboard the Enterprise, Starship <laughs> Enterprise from Star Trek. And, and we should remember that uh, that Spock was uh, was actually, as played by Leonard Nimoy, um, he was a Vulcan, but he was actually half Vulcan and half human, mm -hmm. which made him extra special. And some of the famous Spock quotes, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one, or change is the essential process of all existence. Once you have determined no, once you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Spock. He was just a... He was deep. He was a card. He was a character. <laughs> he was great to have at every party. Uh, <laughs> I have been and always shall be your friend. And then one of his most famous Spockisms. I find that highly illogical. Mm -hmm. And then there's this. The hand. Yeah, I can't do it. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't see Marie move it. There, there you go. go. Oh, Marie, come on, Annie. Can you, can do, you it? do it? Uh -uh. Right. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> there you go. There you <laughs> well, wait That's a second. Hard. Jeez, you, you accepted for me that I couldn't do it, and for <laughs> Ann, you said, "No, Ann, you can do it." It's, it's again, it's three against one. It's come on, Paul W. Whatever. You I got can't this. do it. Never mind. I moved on. He doesn't want to play now. I I, I can't do it. I but I didn't have a it. cheerleading squad helping me to try to do it. No, Paul. No, okay. Paul. Right there. Oh, okay. God. So, what did you? So you guys have any thoughts? You don't have to, but if you do, about I do. I like press conference. <laughs> oh, I was on a different topic. So just think of this before we get I don't blame you. What's that? <laughs> uh, my topic is is much better, much more joyful. Okay. Yes. yes. How about that big donation from the Gilbert family? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Wow. That's a game changer. Wonderful. Uh, half a billion dollars to uh, improve the, uh, the, the neighborhoods in Detroit. Dan Gilbert, uh, continues to do great things for Detroit. I don't even want to think about where we would be without Dan Gilbert. Uh, it's it is amazing how generous they have been. He and Jennifer, and uh, yeah, I can still see he is still suffering the effects of that stroke. Mm. And and he's had the best of rehab and everything else. We just hope and pray that he can get to what appeared to be uh, uh, still having no usage of that left arm it, at least it appeared mm -hmm. that way we're hoping and praying that that can somehow miraculously come back to him mm -hmm. but his heart and his head uh all very healthy and uh, and very generous absolutely and it's interesting also how that money will be spent the very first thing that's going to be done is to target people's back taxes mm -hmm. which for so many people it's mm -hmm. just uh, it's a problem that keeps growing year after year when you can't pay your back taxes mm -hmm. and eventually you get evicted from your house you get thrown out of your house so mm -hmm. he and his people as we've heard on opportunity detroit for years have worked very hard at keeping people in their houses Yes, they've really cut back on the the number of people who were getting kicked out of their houses was embarrassingly high in Detroit, and they've done a lot to make sure that doesn't happen. And now they've done this. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and that leads to blight in neighborhoods. Pe people aren't living in the their homes. You know, the home goes to you know becomes disheveled and it get, goes to ruin, and that ruins neighborhoods. So mm -hmm. I, I just thought their approach was very interesting. That target, he likened it to you know throwing a colored Kool Aid into the ocean. You could do that, but then you know you don't see the color. Doesn't change the color of the ocean. Mm -hmm. the color. So this way, you target it, and you really can make a difference. So. 
kudos to them. Very good job. Fabulous. They, they've continued to give back. You know, you go all the way back to uh, the Illich family and Peter Carmanis uh, committing to build that building uh, downtown oh. and all the different things. Although, and then we look at uh, John Furchill and uh, the Western Book Cadillac. That was a big deal. And now it's in a receivership or bankruptcy or whatever. So um, this this virus has thrown everything and everyone for a loop. And we'd like to get some good news coming out. And so far, the news is having us go back to the bad old days of the virus. So we've got to figure all that out. we got to maintain the masks and everything else. And we've got to get the, the vaccination if you have the ability to and more and more people have the opportunity now so just get the vaccination we want to get out of this thing i don't have any better answers for you i don't do you guys have any better answers no we're with you uh, i don't know that there is a better answer yep. it is uh, 6 13 and we're staying online for the whole show because we're doing the wjr road show for general motors so uh, stay with us here this report is sponsored by LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Tax season can be a big headache if identity thieves steal personal info from your tax forms. LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. We have a, a great uh, opportunity, Detroit, as we, we try to every weekend. We have a great one coming up this weekend. I have uh, listed here that uh, right out of our traffic and weather and other information, Stephen Dime, the co-founder and CEO of Flowers for Dreams, will be a little taste of this Sunday's opportunity, Detroit, that will run at one o'clock Sunday afternoon. But first, our WJR traffic and weather and Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre screen quality tenants to their property owners. They love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today, northbluefield.com. 94 westbound after 10 mile, new accident blocks the right lane. Eastbound 94 after 8 mile accident also blocking that left lane. US 23 southbound connector ramp to M14 eastbound accident is blocking that ramp. That uh, off ramp is shut down. Rochester Road southbound before Long Lake and Waddles closed there due to an electrical pole fire. Crews are on the scene and we have flooding in Farmington Hills. Your Farmington ramp to 96 westbound is blocked due to flooding. Avoid the area. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel sponsored by Amish Direct Furniture. Amish Direct Furniture carries a huge variety of high quality handmade furniture made here in the USA. Stop by Amish Direct's new showroom in Sterling Heights. Meet their knowledgeable staff or shop online at AmishDirect.com. That's AmishDirect.com. Rain beginning to scoot on off toward the east. Lingering showers this morning. Windy and becoming partly cloudy today with a high of 57. Some clouds tonight colder, 35 degrees. Surrounding areas even chillier. Considerably cloudy tomorrow, low 60s. Sunday, windy with a few showers, highs in the low 50s. From the Weather Channel, meteorologist Ray Stagecom, News Talk 760, WJR. 41 degrees uh, right here, right now. And if you're a member of the WJR Travel Club, that means if you've gone on any of the trips with us, um, there I see they're blasting out a message uh, to uh, some, some of the folks in the WJR Travel Club. So keep an eye out for a note online from Cruise and Tour that I think you'll find uh, uh, interesting, matter of fact. Again, 41 degrees. When you choose Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan for your Medicare coverage, it's easy to get the care, tests, or treatment you need whenever you need them. When you need access to care, Blue Cross provides you with more options that work for every lifestyle. Schedule appointments for checkups or routine care at a time that's convenient for you. If you'd like to stay close to home, give the Blue Cross 24-7 nurse line a call or schedule a virtual doctor's visit. Whenever you need assistance, Blue Cross will connect you with the information and help you need. With a Blue Cross Medicare plan, you'll never have to go without your medication. Their easy to use prescription drug plans allow you to refill and pick up your medications from your local pharmacy or have them delivered by mail. Get access to the care you need as soon as you need it with 
Blue Cross, the company more than 500,000 people in Michigan trust for their Medicare coverage. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. See what other members are saying at bcbsm.com slash senior care. That's bcbsm.com slash senior care for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. It is 618 WJR. With a lineage of proven performance, a collaborative approach, and strategic locations across the globe, Aria is crafting the newest science of automotive acoustic and textile solutions. From acoustic products that reduce cabin noise to a wide range of flooring and other interior solutions that provide luxury, durability, and comfort, Aria is creating the next wave of automotive innovation. To find out more, visit ariasolutions.com. It's a new day to celebrate and be free. A new day full of action and excitement. Come to Soaring Eagle. Indulge to your heart's content. It's a day for winning, for world-class fun and food. Yes, it's a grand, spectacular day to get away. Only at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. It's a new day. Visit SoaringEagleCasino.com. Celebrate Easter in style, your way, with Andiamo or Joe Muir Seafood. The restaurants were open on Easter Sunday from noon until 8 p.m. and are now accepting reservations. Safety measures include temperature checks, tables of no more than six people, and daily sanitizing. If you prefer to celebrate at home, Andiamo and Joe Muir Seafood are offering delicious brunch packages to go that are ready to heat and serve for a memorable Easter brunch. Visit JoeMuir.com or AndiamoItalia.com for menus and reservations. The market is constantly changing. The Marketplace Minute keeps you up to date one minute at a time. When you're getting the kids off to school. Alexa, play Marketplace Minute. All operators, file for bankruptcy. Just before the Zoom meeting. Hey Siri, play Marketplace Minute. Because it's been spending more on hiring work. When your day is done. Hey, Google, play the Marketplace Minute. Upward swings in indices in Europe and Asia. The Marketplace Minute, a podcast and smart speaker briefing updated three times daily. Ask your smart speaker to play the Marketplace Minute. Listen on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your shows. You're hearing the Paul W. Smith Show. News Talk 760 WJR. Stephen Dime, the co-founder and CEO of Flowers for Dreams. It, let me tell you a little something about this socially conscious flower company. In fact, named one of Business Insider's 20 most inspiring companies in all of America because every bouquet his company sells benefits an amazing local charity. That could be in Chicago, could be Milwaukee, and now Detroit. To date, they've donated over $750,000 from the sale of flowers. Stephen, it's great to catch up with you. Good to be back with you, Paul, and thanks for the, the kind introduction. With all due respect, you don't expect it to come from a flower shop and a guy running a flower shop, but that's what we found with you, Stephen. Well, you know, you mentioned that uh, in the initial intro, our proudest accomplishment is the ability to have given so much to charity through the sale of flowers. It's an unlikely source, no question, but uh, we're lucky to be one of the first 25, 30 B corporations in the entire Great Lakes region. Uh, we, at the time, there was only a few hundred B Corps in the U.S. And it's a badge of ethical business and I think a new way of doing business that most companies are looking at. I, if, What I recall from our earlier conversation, Stephen Dime, co-founder and CEO of Flowers for Dreams, is that this dream this and this concept, Flowers for Dreams, actually started as a as a college project, if I'm not mistaken, fill in the gaps here. That's right. I was 19 years old. I had just finished my first year at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. And uh, like many college students, I needed to pay for school. I uh, was working in a cafeteria. I was a house party DJ. I looked for any way to make money. And uh, I came upon a friend of mine who was from the floral industry, a long lineage of florists and floral wholesalers. And when he was a kid uh, working at his dad's shop, he would take the excess floral, the, the stuff that couldn't sell, and he would sell them uh, as bouquets outside of college graduations, his own high school graduation, proms, commencements, and he would take it to dad for zero dollars and sell it for 30 or 40 dollars. And I wasn't a business major or very interested in business, uh, to be honest, but I knew that buying something for zero dollars and selling it for 30 or 40 dollars was a pretty good way to make money, a pretty good business model. 
And so that's actually how it really started. I started as a flower peddler doing the same thing he did, uh, taking kind of the spoilage from florists, bundling up in bouquets and selling them outside graduations and commencements all around the Chicago area. And uh, slowly that morphed into Flowers for Dreams, where every bouquet we would sell at a school event would donate a backpack with school supplies to another school and a student in need. And it became this very interesting full circle program where every bouquet would benefit uh, and, and buy a backpack uh, for a kid in need. And um, that really seeded Flowers for Dreams. You know, I'll tell you, Stephen, it, it is a trend that we noted here some time ago on Opportunity Detroit. I'll say it again. The, the old way of entrepreneurship and then uh, philanthropy was that you'd work for 30 or 40 years or 50 years building up a fabulous company that then had lots of money and you shared the wealth uh, through donations and bequeathing and, and whatever you did with your philanthropic spirit 30, 40, 50 years after you started your business. The new way is the entrepreneurs with an immediate social agenda. So here you are in college trying to upgrade your diet from frozen pizza to at least <laughs> at least up to takeout. And then right from the beginning, as you just put it, the other half of the profits was to buy backpacks for the low-income students that you tutored during the summer, make a little money and make a big difference. And that started a long time ago. That, that's the, I, I appreciate you saying that. And that's the exact model. You're right. Uh, we're seeing, you know, I'm, I'm mentoring now. It's just such an honor of younger entrepreneurs who really their first question is, how can I integrate purpose or giving fundamentally in the business? And, and not all of them do it from an altruistic place. And, and that's fine. I don't actually need everyone to be um, you know, as interested in advancing causes of justice and charity that we are, but if they can make a net benefit through their business model by giving or by keeping, um, you know, being conscious of the environment or good corporate governance or treating their employees with a living wage and the like, then it's good for society. And so we've been rewarded for it. And our model is a little even more unique because we need to make profit to be able to give. So the business has to perform as a for-profit before it can kind of achieve its nonprofit objectives. And, you know, so we, we don't tie it to sales. We give one quarter of our net profits, which is a huge chunk of money, but again, it relies on profit. So we can, I, I want to kind of share with, with younger entrepreneurs or any, any age entrepreneur that you don't have to sacrifice your values or the things you care about, I guess, extracurricularly in your everyday professional career. They can go hand in hand. In fact, they can amplify what you're doing professionally. Anything else we need to know, Stephen, before we let you go? We're looking for charity applications. So whomever has a great nonprofit, particularly in the Detroit metro community, we are giving grants for our spring and summer cycles. Uh, we give grants of anywhere from one to $5,000 right now in, in Southeast Michigan. So come on and apply at flowersfordreamsfoundation.org or learn more about the company at flowersfordreams.com. All right, I'm just making quick notes. All right, uh, flowersfordreamsfoundation.org or to uh, order, do business, flowersfordreams.com. Stephen Dime, the co-founder and CEO of Flowers for Dreams. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you, Stephen. As we continue on the Paul W. Smith Show at WJR. This report is sponsored by Exergen. Accuracy matters. Get a $5 rebate by trading up any non-contact thermometer toward an Exergen purchased at any retailer. Accuracy matters, especially when it comes to checking for a fever. Exergen's accuracy is backed by published, peer-reviewed clinical studies. Details at exergen.com. All righty, let's uh, check it here at uh, 626, our WJR on traffic and weather first, Miss Dana Clark. 94 eastbound after 8 mile accident is blocking the left lane. 94 westbound after 10 mile accident blocking both shoulders. U.S. 23 southbound connector ramp to M14 eastbound. That earlier accident is clear. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre screen quality tenants to their property owners. They love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today, northbloomfield.com. 
Rain showers are tapering off before 8 a.m. this morning. Right now, cloudy, 38 degrees. We do have a wind advisory in effect until 11 a.m. 45 mile per hour wind gusts are possible. Showers move out definitely after 8 a.m. this morning. Left with cloudy conditions today, a high of 59. Tonight, cloudy skies, partly cloudy after midnight, your low 36. For the weekend, looks dry on Saturday, a high of 60. And then rain showers early in the morning on Sunday. Clouds later in the day, a high of 50. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie Osborne in about three minutes. Like so many of us, are you debating whether to take that summer vacation this year? Well, instead, why not stay home and create your own little backyard getaway underneath a Merry Grove retractable awning? After all, everything's a little more fun underneath a Merry Grove awning. I can't hear you. Barbecues, but family dinners, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, and even that card game or logging in for the next Zoom call. Block the sun's harmful rays during the day, and as the sun goes down, turn up the evening ambiance with a click of the remote. Merry Grove's awnings integrated LED lights allow you to extend your outdoor enjoyment and savor those spectacular Michigan summer nights. Sound good? Well, then you better act now because Merry Grove's installation schedule is filling up fast. Mary Grove's got you covered with the best Michigan made shade. Call Mary Grove today at 800 44 Awning. That's 800 44 Awning. Or visit MaryGrove.com. MaryGrove.com. How did we ever come to the belief that we have no control over the inevitability of heart attack or stroke? That it was somehow predestined in our genes, inherited or inevitable due to some random chance that outsmarted the medical field. We've come to accept these two fallacies, but the fact is that heart attack and stroke are 100% preventable and cardiac disease is reversible. It's not in the genes, it's in your profile. It's time to take charge of your health. Call Dr. Brian Colander at 866-K-O-L-E-N-D-E-R. Confidence. It's important to have when you're on the road. Be prepared for whatever the weather brings with a new set of innovative Bridgestone or dependable Firestone tires on your car, truck, SUV, or minivan, so you know you're riding on tires you can trust. Bridgestone and Firestone tires are engineered to give you peace of mind so you can focus on enjoying the journey. Bridgestone is proud to support their OE and aftermarket customers around the globe. Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Dan Gilbert announcing plans to invest $500 million into Detroit neighborhoods in the next decade. And he'll begin by paying the back taxes on 20,000 Detroit homes. Gilbert says unpaid property taxes are the main cause of blight in the city. It's not the properties we were most concerned about. It's the people who live in them. So we went to work. Our philosophy is to treat more than the symptoms when we are facing a problem. We worked to get to the root cause of the issue. And it was easily concluded that property tax foreclosure was the primary cause of blight and subsequent abandonment of those homes over the past several years. Detroit admitted to overcharging residents to the tune of $600 million over a six-year period. About his health, Gilbert says he uses a wheelchair and comes to the office about two days a week and has hours of therapy every single day. A series of tornadoes hitting the Deep South, killing at least five people, causing mass destruction. Birmingham, Alabama resident Tim Herring says that he was warned just moments before the tornado destroyed his house and managed to grab his wife. I pulled her over in the tub and uh, the shower curtain luckily fell right over the top of us. And then we, uh, I could feel boards falling and hitting me and sheet rock and the whole house was rocking and shaking. And uh, then it was, it quit. And when it quit, uh, I had to push all the stuff off of me. Herring says he and his wife waited in that bathtub as pieces of their house crumpled on top of them until the tornado passed. The number of COVID cases in the state continues to climb. The health department reporting 5,000. 224 new COVID cases, the highest since last December, 49 new deaths. 30 of those were found after a review of records. The caseload puts Michigan second in the nation for per capita cases, according to the Centers for Disease Control. New York is number one on that list. Health officials pointing to people not quarantining when showing symptoms as one of the reasons for the explosion in the case count in Michigan. A group of nearly 20 Republican senators heading to Texas today to tour the southern border 
where tens of thousands of people are crossing into the U.S. in accelerating numbers. Fox's Eben Browner has more. Both senators from Texas will host a number of their colleagues, all Republican, on a visit to the U.S. borderland in that state where complaints and concerns abound over the Biden administration policy of not turning back migrants, despite the president insisting at his Thursday press conference they will. Senator Ted Cruz. The illegal immigrants they're releasing are testing positive for COVID-19 at a seven times higher rate than the U.S. population. It is a humanitarian crisis. It's a public health crisis. President Biden now says he will visit the border himself, but has not committed to a time. Evan Brown, Fox News. The FBI is helping in the search for the girlfriend of an Oakland County man who is missing in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Ryan Bain of Lake Orion reported 41-year-old Sarm Huslop missing from his catamaran in the early hours of March 8th. She had reportedly moved to the Virgin Islands in hopes of becoming a chef. Checking the world markets this morning. They are all up this hour. The Asian markets closed up. China and Nikkei were up. London up. Futures are up this hour. For WJR News, I'm Marie Osborne. Paul W. Smith returns in two minutes. Hi, friends. Bill Gelling here at Golly Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, inviting you to stop in during Ram Truck Month going on all March long. For example, qualified Chrysler employees can lease a 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab V6 4x4 for just $2.99 a month. Leases for 36 months, 10,000 miles a year with 1,000 down. Remember, we have more than 2,000 vehicles to choose from, so come see us. I think you'll really enjoy doing business with us here at Galling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bloomfield Hills, Chelsea, Roseville, and online at Galling.com. Every year, Exalta releases a new mobility color. And here to announce the 2021 Global Automotive Color of the Year is Exalta's Global Color Manager, Nancy Lockhart. Exalta's 2021 Color of the Year is Electrolyte, a refreshing green-yellow hue with bold contemporary elements that bring style and functionality to life. The color is soothing and calm with an opaque simplicity, yet exciting and fresh with its vibrancy. Visit exalta.com slash color for more information. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. Drive home a winner at Saginaw Eagles Landing. Every Saturday in March, it's RV There Yet, and your chance to win a $30,000 voucher for a new RV. Each week from 5 to 9 p.m., you can win up to $1,000 cash. Then on Saturday, March 27th, one lucky player can get behind the wheel of a new RV. RV There Yet, every Saturday in March. Only at Saginaw Eagles Landing Casino and Hotel. Let your fun out. Visit Saginaw-EaglesLanding.com for complete rules and details. With a lineage of proven performance, a collaborative approach, and strategic locations across the globe, Aria is crafting the newest science of automotive acoustic and textile solutions. From acoustic products that reduce cabin noise to a wide range of flooring and other interior solutions that provide luxury, durability, and comfort, Aria is creating the next wave of automotive innovation. To find out more, visit ariasolutions.com. Celebrate Easter in style, your way, with Andiamo or Joe Muir Seafood. The restaurants were open on Easter Sunday from noon until 8 p.m. and are now accepting reservations. Safety measures include temperature checks, tables of no more than six people, and daily sanitizing. If you prefer to celebrate at home, Andiamo and Joe Muir Seafood are offering delicious brunch packages to go that are ready to heat and serve for a memorable Easter brunch. Visit JoeMuir.com or AndiamoItalia.com for menus and reservations. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. Well, this is a, that, this is a good memory. I'm just going over some of the lines written in by our people who follow us uh, online as well as listening in at 760 WJR starting Monday, for uh, the, the time being at least, we'll be on from 6 till 10. Uh, and we're looking forward to that, helping out while uh, Frank makes his transition. Today's the big day. He'll be coming from uh, Boyne, and uh, he's got an action-packed show. The, the call-ins yesterday went so well in our 8 o'clock hour with people wanting to speak directly with Frank and about thank him for the good job he's done and all of that. that was It went so well, they continued it into their show yesterday. Today is going to be a bunch of people uh, stopping by and uh, and thanking Frank and, and all of that. We started the show, we were wearing uh, our 
uh, special robes that Kim and I gave to everybody on the team, the team, the team for Christmas. Uh, Maria is kind enough to still have her robe on. It says Marie on it. I thought about Riri, but it has Marie on it. And, and uh, John has his robe. Um, and I couldn't find mine. And it was in Sophie's room. She, uh, she came over and I said, have you seen my robe? And I was touched that she, because she has her own robe, but Hi, she had it. Much. And then somebody asked how we could, if somebody wanted to buy these robes. And I couldn't understand why I wasn't hearing from uh, uh, Kimmy. But I, I looked over my notes and at uh, 3.08 this morning, she said her arm was tender and she had a headache. So she was going to try to go back to bed. Now, you know why her arm was tender and she had a headache she finally was able to get her first shot, her first vaccine. Good. And you're going to love this, Marie. And uh, so she goes, she's in Florida, she's in line. She goes and they want to see her driver's license okay. because it was 55 and older. Oh. And they looked at her driver's <laughs> license and the guy called another guy over and said, does this look like a legitimate license or do you think this is a fake ID? I mean, they were serious. They awesome. didn't believe she was 55. Oh, is that, can you imagine? I mean, that I was, made her day. I, the people were thinking that I, when I was, uh, when I was 21, people thought I was 50. So for her, uh, at, at her age, 58, um, for them to not believe she was 55 made her day. And then they jammed a needle in her arm, so that kind of <laughs> offset the the great feelings she was having. But God bless her; she takes good care of herself. Can well, you imagine, though? Good for her, good for her. Our our daughter is like that too. She's uh, continually gets carded. She's well, well, well above <laughs> drinking age, and her <laughs> friends can't stand her for it. I mean, some people, <laughs> some people just have that look about them. You know, they just look young. God they, bless them, like they, you said. They've got the good genes, and they take care of them. You know, uh, when you brought up that story about the caucus club earlier, if you missed it, uh, the caucus club is saying it's kind of like the new no shirts, no shoes, no service. They don't want you coming to the caucus club looking uh, in your hoodie and your T-shirt. and your. They don't want you looking ratty, but they also don't want you smelling like marijuana. It's the first time I've ever heard of anyone restaurant or otherwise making that one of the uh, one of the things that they're concerned well, with what's interesting is when i i first spotted this last night on social media that people had posted this and it was interesting to see what other people were posting um there were uber drivers who said that they pick people up and they can barely drive them to their destination because of the stench, you know, that they smell like pot. Um, other people in stores who say people come in and it's, you know, it just, it's overwhelming that odor. And I told you earlier, I mean, you'll be stopped at a light and all of a sudden you're like, what is that smell? And sure enough, it's coming from somebody's car. You know, I, that it's unbelievable to me. Say that again. It's unbelievable to me. Well, you know what else, uh, since you mention it, uh, what's unbelievable, and I guess this would be called, if anyone uses the expression anymore, a pet peeve. I don't like being at a light with my windows up and my car vibrating because the radio is so loud uh. with probably speakers in the trunk and speakers everywhere. Um Really? I mean, do you really have to have your radio up that loud playing your music? But maybe, maybe they can't hear anymore because they've been listening to loud music all their life. But it's so annoying to me yep. when somebody does that right next to me. Does that bother you at all? Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, it's, it's uh, actually, it really bothers my husband excessively. And I'll just say, you know what? It's uh, 60 seconds. I think we can get past this, so. though. <laughs> oh, man. man like, you, you have lots of patience, Marie. Well, no, I actually, I don't. But, I, and, you know, it's just, I, I always think, wow, that person really needs, the, you know, the attention. Or, you know, that's what that's all about. That's what it's all about, getting the attention. Look at yeah. me. I got a really loud radio. Yeah. Wow. Here I am. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, but don't, and to open your car window and smell marijuana 
Oh. Shouldn't shouldn't be you shouldn't drink and drive and you shouldn't smoke and drive. Right. Yes. Um, yes. And uh, I don't know if we ever got to this story from the Detroit News. U of M researchers uh, Ariana Taylor wrote this. Um, uh, U of M researchers saying vaping marijuana may be worse for teens than nicotine. Yes. So the old argument that marijuana is not bad for you, in fact, uh, it's it's not nearly as bad as cigarettes and nicotine. Now these researchers saying that vaping marijuana could be more harmful to teens than vaping or smoking nicotine. And we already know that that will kill you, the Absolutely. nicotine. So bear that in mind on this Friday morning, thanks to our sponsors, uh, Lear Corporation, Continental Structural Plastics, Bridgestone, Aria, and Exulta. They're making it possible for us to have our WJR Roadshow, the Paul W. Smith Show, featuring General Motors. And you see some great video if you watch us online. All morning long will be online. And uh, you're going to hear some great interviews from people at General Motors. We'll catch up with them and we'll ask them. They, they were the first to announce they're going to do all electric uh, vehicles. There's still that conversation out there. Can our grid handle everybody driving an electric vehicle. This has got to be dealt with along the way. And uh, so let's take care of a little other business leading up to some driving information here at 643. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Sometimes a hiring freeze happens because you can't find the right people. So follow the warming trend to Indeed. They have tools to help you find the quality candidates you need to help your business. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit. And let's uh, check it right now. Our WJR traffic and weather first, Miss Dana Clark. For eight mile earlier accident it is clear. A flooding reported on your 75 northbound commute at uh, 94. Watch for the, that uh, a wet ramp there. 94 westbound between 10 and 9 mile accident is blocking both shoulders. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Gordon Chevrolet. Gordon Chevrolet is selling the hottest vehicles in town. Pull ahead your lease. Take advantage of zero interest for up to 84 months or sign and drive lease program end of the month deals. Open special hours is Saturday 9 to 3. Gordon Chevrolet Ford Road, just west of Merriman in Garden City, GordonChevrolet.com. Still pushing around a few showers. Most of the rain pushing east, though, this morning. So let's just go with some showers. Otherwise, windy. The clouds give way to some sunshine, especially this afternoon. Cooler 57. Chilly night tonight, relatively speaking, 35. Surrounding areas a little bit colder. Saturday dry, considerably cloudy, 62. Windy with a few showers on Sunday with a high 52. From the Weather Channel, meteorologist Ray Stagecom, News Talk 760, WJR. 41 degrees, 41 degrees at 645, 15 minutes away from 7 on this Friday morning edition of the Paul W. Smith Show. Love Fridays for a lot of reasons. One of them that we get to hear from Jason Stein with Automotive Views with Jason Stein, publisher of Automotive News and presented by... Yazaki. Yazaki, fully connected to vehicle electrification. Jason. What's in your wallet? That might change very soon. There's a whole new currency available for that next car purchase, and it could signal the road ahead in terms of financial transactions. It's Bitcoin. Yes, that Bitcoin. Recently, Tesla chief Elon Musk said the company's electric vehicles can now be bought using Bitcoin. Tesla said it bought $1.5 billion of the currency, sending the price of the world's most popular cryptocurrency soaring. Uber could potentially accept it as a payment, and General Motors has said it will evaluate whether Bitcoin can be accepted as payments for its vehicles. This is no small decision. The adoption of the cryptocurrency could have enormous implications for finance and insurance, repairs, and even payments at gas stations. It's a signal that the more things stay the same in the automotive world, the more they change. And if you don't believe it, all you have to do is ask yourself this question. Has Tesla changed the car industry? Here's a hint. There's only one answer. With this week's Automotive View, I'm Jason Stein, publisher of Automotive News. As the auto industry's reliance on internal combustion engines shifts to electric, electrification will be the foundation for any type of advanced mobility. And with more than 75 years of wire, harness, electrical, and data solutions experience, Yazaki is your development partner for electric vehicles. Yazaki's customers have access to a comprehensive high-voltage products and systems portfolio. And the company's deep understanding of global automotive standards makes it the best choice to help drive and optimize your future vehicle's electrification systems and power distribution architecture. As a full-service supplier, Yozaki offers extensive additive manufacturing and rapid prototype capabilities. 
Its wide range of high voltage research and testing resources helps customers integrate vehicle electrification, connectivity, and autonomy, fully connected to vehicle electrification. Learn more at yazaki na.com. Hi, Ken and Chuck here, the Inside Outside Guys. You've heard us say many times that painting is not a do-it-yourself project. The folks at Certa Pro Painters know a great paint job starts with the prep, making sure the surface will accept the high-quality primers and paints they use. Certa Pro Painters uses only professional technicians and will treat your home with the same loving care you expect. And they're trained to keep you, the homeowner, and the painting team safe. And Serta Pro Painters experts can help with those tough color choices as well as using the right products for the right application. So if you're looking for a weatherproof paint for the outdoors or a scrubbable finish for the kids' room, they can do it all. On time, every time. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. They are right here in your community. So the next time you're considering new paint anywhere in your home, think Serta Pro Painters. Schedule your free estimate at certapro.com. That's Serta with a C. Professional painters you can trust. The Bible is under attack. Some countries even ban it. And in the United States, laws are being proposed to limit biblical values in society. Just last year, California's governor even banned private Bible study groups in homes. It's frightening. Now, Greg Kelly Reports investigates the growing movement to ban the Bible in American life. Watch Greg Kelly on Newsmax TV. Tonight at 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern, as he reveals the real dangers to Christians and how they're fighting to protect the Bible. You won't find this on any other networks. Newsmax TV is America's fastest growing cable news channel on all major systems. Check your cable guide or call them to get Newsmax. Or get it free on Roku, YouTube, Zumo, Pluto, or Amazon Fire. And smart TVs like Samsung, Sony, or LG. Plus, you can download the free Newsmax app on your phone and watch us anytime, anywhere. So find out about the growing danger to your Bible freedom. Watch Newsmax TV's Greg Kelly tonight. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone. Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. 41 degrees at uh, 649 on this uh, Friday morning. Still kind of wet out there. Hey, 760 WJ wants you to celebrate Easter your way with uh, Joe Muir's and Andiamo. Text keyword Easter to 800-859-0957. That's keyword Easter to 800-859-0957 for a chance to win a $100 gift card to dine at any of the Joe Muir's or Andiamo locations of your choice. Reservations to dine in as well as Easter brunch to go packages are now available at uh, all of the Joe Muir's and Andiamo's. And by the way, they're all open Easter Sunday from noon until 8 p.m. For more information and official contest rules, visit WJR dot com. Daron Levin, all round good guy, a Detroit area journalist of note, highly regarded, editor of Better Investing Magazine, is joining us uh, on our WJR Roadshow featuring General Motors to give us an outsider's learned view of uh, GM. Uh, it's always a pleasure, Daron. Nice to have you here this morning. Happy Friday. Hey, happy Friday to you. It's always great to be with you, Paul. Tell us about, uh, since you're really on the inside, some of the more interesting projects that General Motors is working on. Now, we know about the major commitment to electric vehicles, and you can talk about that too, but uh, just regale us with some of your knowledge. Well, I think that the, the real headline this year is its commitment to EVs, and this is uh, a real moonshot for General Motors as well as for a number of other automakers. Uh, GM has said it's going to have 30 EV models by 2025. And the aspiration, and that's an important word, aspiration, not commitment, but aspiration is to be an all EV company by 2035. And if that's going to happen, and uh, 14 years from now seems like a long time, but as you and I know, time passes rather quickly. Um, if that's going to happen, consumers are going to have to really step up and begin buying and being more interested in EVs than they are today because 
as we are finding out, people really don't understand what exactly it means to own and operate an electric car. And so uh, there's going to be a big gap between what the consumers uh, understand today and what they're going to have to do to bring this future to to fruition for for General Motors. It's a little late, but there are studies coming out now uh, indicating uh, the advantage of driving a traditional vehicle like we do now with gasoline or diesel um, uh, and a purely electric vehicle. They're, they're, they're now all of a sudden, it's a little late, like I say, they're weighing what the, uh, the ecological impact is from those two vehicles. Certainly you've seen the latest studies that say, hmm, they're a lot closer than everyone thought. Everyone thought we were going like this with electric vehicles when it really isn't quite that way. Well, you have to really look at the entire system. How much, if the, if the goal of an electric car is to get rid of emissions entirely, meaning mainly CO2, um, then what is, the, what is the difference between the two and how do you get there? And, and what's been happening for years and decades now is that the, the internal combustion engine has been getting more and more and more efficient so that the emissions, which were much higher than they used to be, are, are quite low. And so the, you're right, the difference is, is, is quite small. And what happens is that you, it takes you quite a number of years until you really get the full advantage of an electric car because there are admissions that are connected with making batteries, with make, with mining the, the, uh, the minerals that are necessary to make these batteries. So you have to sort of look at the whole system to really understand what the impact is going to be on the planet. But the future is of the planet is uh, measured in, in very, very long periods of time. So the idea is that over time, electric vehicles will, will save a lot of carbon dioxide and perhaps have a big impact on climate. We're not really sure what kind of an impact or how quickly, but, uh, and scientists are all over the lot on this, but, but it's going to, I believe that EVs are going to come. The real question is, are they going to be a mainstream technology two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, or 40 years from now? We don't really know, but a lot depends on, on how, quickly consumers decide they want to drive electric cars. And of course, the sidebar story, again, a little late, but now people are saying, gee whiz, our electrical grid won't be able to handle it if everybody's driving an electric car. So there's, there's well, lots, yeah. lots going on. I mean, the knock-on effects, the, the knock-on effects are big. You have to build plants. You have to build charging stations. A lot of people don't live in houses that have uh, garages where, where charging can take place over people who live in cities who want to own electric cars or, uh, or that those kinds of questions that hasn't really been all that well thought out. There are a lot of efforts now to address those, those issues, but we don't really know what the answer is. Yet. I want to ask Jerome Levin before we run out of time here as a, a, a wonderful Detroit area journalist, editor of better investing magazine, just to reflect, uh, um, your take on what uh, Jennifer and Dan Gilbert have done again for the city of Detroit with a half billion dollars going to Detroit residents and the neighborhoods. Yeah, I mean, it's a terrific commitment. Uh, you just you, you, you just realize and, and I think Dan Gilbert's um, uh, unfortunate health problems have really refocused his mind in a lot of ways as as health problems often do when they hit you in your 50s and 60s and 70s. I mean, this is a very hard driving guy who brought uh, Quicken downtown because he wanted mainly to help downtown. This is not new for him. He's wanted to do this and he's done so much to now, but he also realizes that there's still so much to do. And uh, I, I just think Detroit is so lucky to have him, as it's been lucky to have a lot of builders, people like Pete Carmanos and uh, many, many, many others. But you can go all the way back to the automobile industry, the people who, who built uh, car plants in downtown Detroit and employed so many people. So we have to really think and and thank the, the people who are uh, – 
builders and people who are uh, visionaries and people who provide the factories, the jobs, the products that really give us this prosperity and this opportunity to help people who, who do need help. And it's just, it's, it's, it's beyond words, really, in a way. It is. A quick take on Daron Levin's take on what was advertised as President Biden's first press conference yesterday. You know, uh, Paul, I, I, I missed it. I, I, I just saw clips. Uh, there was a lot of controversy because he went longer than any modern president before giving a press conference. And uh, these things are um, re- really, uh, <laughs> they're circuses in a way. They used to be circuses, but now with COVID, because you can't have as many uh, journalists in the room and they all have to sit further apart and they're they're not uh, fighting with each other to uh, pitch questions at the no, and, and it appeared they it had was to, a much more manageable affair it appeared they had to ask questions uh, that were already rehearsed with the president or so it seemed and and it was a little disconcerting that he had to read his cards on virtually every uh, answer that he gave but there, and he then he lost his focus at one point at one point he started it looked like a made for Saturday night live uh, event he he wandered around the podium and kind of walked away and no one's talked about these things in the uh, in the mainstream media but we've got to go Jerome uh, hey. I'd be interested in hearing your take if you go online and watch the uh, and watch the uh, so-called uh, press conference I, I will take a look at it Paul it's so nice to be with you Passover tomorrow night we're getting ready ah, for that and, I'm glad uh, you mentioned it the great season of of renewal of Easter and Passover, which come at the same time every year, because we're on a, we're together. We're on the lunar calendar, and uh, let's uh, let's celebrate another season of renewal, my friend. Good Seder to you and your family, uh, Daron. Thank you, always, Thank you. Always, and happy Easter to you, Paul. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure, our friend Daron Levin here at uh, six fifty eight. This report is sponsored by LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Tax season can be a big headache if identity thieves steal personal info from your tax forms. LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. Let's check it now. We've got it. Our WJR Traffic and Weather First, Dana Clark. Well, it is wet out there, Paul W., so that means uh, it is busy. Watch out for those uh, areas that are flooded, like uh, along 96 Jeffries westbound at Farmington Road. That on-ramp is blocked due to flooding. Avoid the area. Also, 94 westbound between 10 and 9 mile. Accident has a shoulder blocked. Both shoulders are blocked. Traffic is slow from 696. 94 eastbound at 75. Flooding is reported on that 75 and northbound and southbound ramp to 94 eastbound. And seeing a delay 75 southbound between 14 and 11 mile. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel. Expecting these rain showers to taper off at least by 10 a.m. this morning. Seeing rain right now, 38 degrees. Uh, this afternoon, it starts to dry out, a high of 59. A wind, wind advisory in effect until 11 a.m. this morning. Tonight, cloudy skies, low 36. For the weekend, looks dry on Saturday, partly cloudy, a high of 60. And some rain showers early Sunday morning, windy conditions, uh, cloudy skies later, a high of 50. Once again, rain showers, 38 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie is coming up. Lear, a global automotive technology leader in seating and e-systems, has a reputation for identifying industry trends and acting on them. As the industry continues to transform, Lear faces the future of the vehicle with an even bolder vision. One that is connected, electrified, and sustainable. And one that enables them to make every product, every experience, and every drive better than the one that came before it. Lear, making every drive better. To learn more, visit Lear.com. How did we ever come to the belief that we have no control over the inevitability of heart attack or stroke? That it was somehow predestined in our genes, inherited or inevitable due to some random chance that outsmarted the medical field? We've come to accept these two fallacies, but the fact is that heart attack and stroke are 100% preventable and cardiac disease is reversible. Doing okay, Dub? You need anything? No, I think we're doing all right. Thanks for some of the uh, updates I asked you for. I appreciate that. Oh, good. Um, Yeah, the Michigan game is Sunday. Yeah, and and we don't, but we don't know for sure if we're carrying it. We think it's a part of the package. I hope it is. I looked at the schedule. Our coverage starts at 5, but then it says games 2, 3, and 4. 
and I don't know what that means. Um, but I would think so, you know, I mean, I would think it would be part of the package. Yeah. How could I, I know we don't make those decisions, the network right. does, but for yeah. goodness sakes, if they're starting at five, the Michigan game starts at that's five, five. Yeah. Sunday. Let's see if there's another game that starts at five. That, that's the interesting question. Oh boy. So on, um, on Sunday, the Michigan game is at five. The UCLA Alabama game is at seven fifteen. The Gonzaga game is at two ten. Oh, the USC Oregon game is at nine forty five. Wow, they okay. do that. It's crazy. On Saturday, the Baylor game is at five fifteen. The Arkansas Oral Roberts. Wow, Oral Roberts has made it far. Yeah, they have. It's 725. Ruined a lot of brackets. The Loyola game, that's going to be a big one. That's Saturday at 240. And yeah, no, Paul, I think it, I think we could safely say that um, that 5 o'clock start, that's a Michigan game, and it will be on JR, according to my schedule here. According to what Mike Parsons put out, we start our coverage at 5, and that's the only game at 5. Well, that'll be good then. Mm -hmm. It'd be horrible if we didn't get a chance to uh, cover that, if we're going to be covering it at all. Yeah, no, that'll the be Sweet, yeah. Sweet 16 kicking off. And uh, anyway, I think we're the only Big Ten school standing. Yes, that's correct. I'm looking forward to your conversation with Bud, too. That's yeah, that's a big deal. Um, so what is that? So it was going to be two weekends? Yeah, I, I don't I just un, until I got that message last night. Um, from their their press release, I, I thought it was still a two weekend deal, and I've my whole schedule and calendar was based on those two weekends, and now they're saying they're coming back to the one weekend format. So June eleventh, is the, that right? Uh, yeah, uh, that is uh, correct. 11th. June eleventh through the thirteenth. Later than what we normally would go to, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, generally speaking, but we are supposedly that Friday morning. We're going to do the show. That's I. You know, I look at the events calendar and I scratch my head, but I think that's, I believe that's in there. Um, I do have the Grand Prix, uh, the 11th, but I bet I have it. The following? Well, no, we're at the Pirate. We're at the Starline Pirate Ship Festival. The following week? The following week, yeah. So You can see what you've got the weekend before, though, because I thought it was... Uh, it's normally, I, I definitely had it in there for two weekends. Yeah, I have it in for June fourth. So I'm gonna, from what I'm seeing here, normally uh, that's when that. we see the the uh, Grand Prix, right out of the Mackinac Policy Conference. So it's it seems like it's a week later. Yeah, well, it's, and you know it's an outside event, so it sure sounds like there's it absolutely will be able to go. I have uh, June 11th, 530 to 9 Grand Prix, Belle Isle Park. I, I hope it's back to, I hope it's back to 530 to 9 by then, <laughs> June 11th. I don't know. We will, time will tell. We are good soldiers. We show up and we work. Um, so yeah, Bud Denker's coming up here in this next, uh, uh, the 718 segment. He's the president of Penske Corporation. Uh, talking about the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix uh, race presented by Lear, Race Scott and Team Lear. Um, returning to that to one weekend format, of course, but is the uh, the chairman of the race. So uh, we'll get all that information. It's it's truly, it's breaking news dated uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll have that coming up in minutes. And both of our GM guests this morning want to talk about Factory Zero. So that's our focus today. That's a big deal, I know. It's a big deal to them. And they both, um, especially our guest at 805, um, Jim. Jim is a, a longtime listener to the Paul W. Smith Show. Well, they must be a very, very bright guy then. Absolutely. And I think... That may also be the case with um, our 748 guest, too, Kathy. But I know for sure Jim is. So. Factory Zero. Factory Zero. Factory Zero. Um, and then, okay, so there's Riri. Um, 805 is Jim Quick. Riri's still got her robe on. 
I had to put my robe on the chair, Re. I too, Only I because too I got warm. a little warm. I, okay. I was too warm, and those big fluffy uh, sleeves, I kept knocking things over. They're great, my, though. I mean, they're if they're you're soft and on wonderful. a cold, chilly day, wow. I know. They're fabulous. They are you, absolutely fabulous. You heard my story why uh, Kim didn't respond right away. She went back to sleep because she, uh -huh. she got up at 3. She was doing all these things, and her arm was tender, and she had a headache because she finally was able to get the vaccine. And you hear the story that they didn't yeah. believe that she was old enough. Yeah. She had to be 55 or older. And they thought she had a fake it. ID. Love I suppose it. they I bet I suppose they run into that with people yeah, trying yeah. to get the vaccine. Yeah. And <laughs> she said, I'm 58. This is my driver's license. So uh, they finally they finally gave her the shot. Did she get Moderna? Uh, I think that was the one she got. Yeah. 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 So she's got to go back in three weeks for a second shot. She said it was easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. heard from a few people who she showed up early because she didn't. She thought it was going to take her longer. She took her parents to this same place to get their shots. And she thought it was going to take longer to get there. And she found herself there early. You know, she's totally different than me. I would find myself there just about 10 or 20 minutes late. We know. She would find out. 8595. That's 248-230. She would find herself there an hour early, which is what she did. And I went, oh, boy. But they, she just got in line and they took her. It's the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Here's Paul. God bless our sponsors that make it possible, make it possible for us to do these uh, WJR road shows, particularly here on the Paul W. Smith Show. But we'll be we'll be doing more of these road shows spread across the board uh, here on WJR. And uh, you know, nothing comes to you free anymore. But us, radio continues to come into your car, your home, uh, wherever we join you, absolutely free. On this Friday, March twenty sixth. The 85th day of 2021, with over 280 days left in the year. Make each and every day count each day as a gift. And uh, all morning long, right up until 9, we are doing our StreamYard, Zoom, however you want to call it. You can see us on social media, WJR.com, our WJR Facebook page, all of that. And we'll continue to do that with any special programming that we have in the days ahead. Starting Monday, because of Mr. Beckman's decision to retire, there's a lot of things that have to happen. There's a lot of juggling. They asked if we could go from six till 10. So that's what we'll do starting Monday. We have every reason to believe that will be a temporary move. Uh, meanwhile, Marie is here. Uh, we've talked before that it's Generally, it's unlikely that you and John will will tune into a sports activity. You said it's not a big deal. No, it's just not. It's just not. I mean, and how could it be when you're so busy eating fabulous food that you're making? <laughs> well, I, I said, unless it's hockey, we do we do really enjoy hockey. Oh, you do like the hockey, but uh, it, this Sunday, go blue. Uh, we hope that they oh, will beat yeah. Florida State um, and uh, and keep our uh, hopes alive. Five p.m. Uh, a good Seder uh, and a good Passover uh, to our Jewish friends who uh, I think Sunday, uh, Daron and I were talking a moment ago, Daron Levin, I think Sunday is the first Seder. Uh, it starts tonight. I just looked at Oh, is at it tonight? It's sundown tonight? I, um, it says the first day of Passover begins this year at sundown on Friday night. Okay. Uh, I've seen that on a couple of different sources. And then, uh, you know, because it's it's over several days. Right. And I, do they wait for the first Seder? Because I, I just got online that the first Seder was uh, Sunday, March 28th. And it's on my calendar as the 28th as well. So maybe we need to call Daron back. Yeah. Daron, let us know if yeah. you're listening. Uh, text me. Um, and uh, so... Uh, what about the Grand Prix? Do you get excited about the Chevrolet Detroit oh, Grand Prix presented really? by Lear? Yeah, huge uh, fans of that in our family. Uh, we, uh, you know, my husband and the kids try to get tickets to go there and, and see all the activities. Yeah, it's pretty exciting, right? And this year, hopefully the pandemic won't impact too much of the activities that are going to go on. 
Yeah, one of the things that is being announced today is that it's going back to the one weekend format. They thought it was going to be uh, spread out over two weekends, but it's going to yeah. go back to the one weekend format. There are bands, there's great food, uh, and oh, by the way, world-class racing. And the world tunes in and watches it, and Detroit always looks good. Absolutely. Does. I mean, it's really fabulous to see what, uh, well, and let's hope that the weather cooperates. I know that we've had a couple of washouts, so hopefully we'll have some great weather because, boy, does it ever look great. Bud Denker usually puts us in charge of that. That's a Doesn't lot of pressure. It? Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, so we'll talk to Bud in just a moment, but at 712, you know what we've got going on here, our WJR Business Beat with Jeff Sloan, the founder and CEO of Startup Nation, spotlighting the entrepreneurial tech and startup community on WJR. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Paul. Forbes has just come out with its list of the world's best employers to work for, and we've got the inside scoop this morning on the business beat. Forbes partnered with research firm Statista to survey more than 160,000 full-time and part-time workers from 58 countries. All surveys were anonymous, allowing participants to openly share their opinions about their employers. Now, those surveyed were asked to rate their employers in various ways, such as whether or not they'd recommend their employer to friends and family, and or if they felt their employer in their respective industries stood out positively. And participants were also asked to rate their companies on aspects such as image, economic footprint, talent development, gender equality, and social responsibility. And then the 750 companies that received the highest total scores made the final list. The results? Well, first, let me point out the United States dominated the list with 247 employers on it. Unsurprisingly, employees of IT, software, and telecommunications organizations, which have seen business grow and were able to shift to working remotely more easily, tended to rate their companies' coronavirus responses more positively than workers of, say, travel and leisure or transportation companies. So what gets a company onto the list? Well, by way of example, HP came in at number 17 on the list, and Forbes reports that among other perks, HP offered its employees the opportunity to apply for its employee relief fund, allowing everyone who faced a pandemic-related financial hardship to apply to receive up to $10,000 from the company. Now, that'll get you on the list. Employees at HP also had access to physicians on staff while they worked. Michelin chef-led cooking classes and homeschooling tutoring support sessions. And now to the top three. So who topped the list? Well, it was Samsung at number one. Amazon came in at number two. And IBM at number three. You can see the complete list at Forbes.com. Make it a great weekend, everybody. I'm Jeff Sloan, founder and CEO of StartupNation.com. And that's today's business beat on the great voice of the Great Lakes, WJR. This report is sponsored by LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Tax season can be a big headache if identity thieves steal personal info from your tax forms. LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. It is uh, 7.15. Let's do it. Let's take a look at our WJR traffic and weather first in Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by Window World. Call Window World at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW for your window, door, or siding project. Get 0% financing for 60 months. Window World is America's largest exterior replacement remodeler and a trusted team partner of WJR's Inside Outside Guys. Call 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW or visit windowworlddetroit.com. 94 westbound between 10 and 9 mile. Earlier accident is clear. Uh, still seeing the on-ramp blocked in uh, Farmington along 96 westbound at Farmington Road. That ramp is blocked due to flooding. Avoid the area. Slow ride 75 southbound between 12 and 11 mile. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Shelving.com. Shelving.com is a one-stop shop for the products your warehouse needs. Double your space with Unirac pallet racks and modular mezzanines or grab Klein and Milwaukee tools for light repairs to large scale installations. Shelving.com. We rack your world. Winds rarely whipped up now. The heaviest rainfall tapering off the showers this morning. Clouds give way to some sun this afternoon. 57. Those west winds coming in screaming 30 plus miles per hour. 
Colder night tonight. Finally back into the 30s, mid-30s. Suburbs even chillier. Considerably cloudy tomorrow, low 60s. Windy with a few showers Sunday, highs low 50s. From a weather channel, meteorologist Ray Stagic on News Talk 760 WJR. Right now a wet 40 degrees at 716 on WJR. Coming up right uh, around the corner, we will check in with Bud Denker, president of Penske Corporation and Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, presented by Lear, chairman, along with the president, of course, uh, Michael Montry, doing a great job. We're getting excited about it coming our way and a, a new back to the back to the old, back to the new one weekend feature instead of spread out over two weekends. Uh, back in January, I was able to meet with the owners of Motor City Floors and Coatings. I've heard them on WJR's Inside Outside Guys. Maybe you'll be listening to them this weekend as well. I was impressed. I, I did mention to them I had garage floors coated in the past, and I always thought all concrete coatings were the same. And they told me I was absolutely wrong. Motor City Floors and Coatings concrete coating system consists of a polyurea base coat that adheres to the concrete better than an epoxy. Then they apply the paint chips and then do another polyaspartic and polyurea top coat. They make your concrete floor four times stronger than epoxy, slip and stain resistant, heat resistant, and can usually be installed within a day. Motor City floors and coatings have transformed thousands of Metro Detroit homes and businesses. Get your home's basement and garage or your business's concrete floor updated today. It really makes a difference. Call them at 248-613-5888. That's 248-613-5888. Or visit online, MotorCityFloorsAndCoatings.com. 718 at 760 WJR. My mom is interesting. She goes to the grocery store and buys two of everything. I ask her, what's the deal? She tells me that there's nothing worse than cooking dinner for the family and you need more of something and it's not there. She said she would rather go all in and double up to make sure she's covered. I get it. I'm now doing that with the pandemic. I know many people are getting the vaccine, but there are new forms of the virus and I don't want to take the chance. Wearing a well-fitted mask, keeping six feet apart, and avoiding crowds are my way of doubling up against the virus. We need to continue to protect our people and our tribal communities. Help prevent the spread of the new forms of the virus by continuing to wear a snug mask, keep six feet apart when you're around others, and when it's your turn, get vaccinated. We can do this. Learn more at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. This is your time for a good time. Now go live your life to the funnest. Leave boring behind and come to the place made for nonstop action and excitement, Saginaw Eagles Landing. We're winning big at all your favorite games, tasty bites, and comfy nights all come together. The possibilities are endless, and so is the fun. It's all here waiting just for you. So come on, Michigan, let your fun out. Saginaw Eagles Landing Casino and Hotel. What do you get when you talk to a Dell Technologies advisor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get someone who understands there's an art to listening. Mm -hmm. sure. Who's able to hear more than what's being said and can provide tailored mm -hmm. small business solutions that make you feel okay. truly heard. I understand. Let's get started. For advice on everything from laptops to the cloud and solutions powered by Intel V Pro platform, call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. Hey, it's me. Just wanted to reach out after yesterday's video call. Uh, you mentioned your friends going through a hard time right now. I wanted to recommend an app you should download. It's the How We Reach coaching tool. Uh, it's got tips on you know how to reach out to friends or family members who are, who are struggling. So it's great that you're there for your friend. I really think this tool will help you give them the support they need. So let me know if you want to talk. Download the tool on reach.gov today. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. I hope you'll do business with those wonderful sponsors. We like doing business with people who do business with us, and I hope you 
do the same thing. Bud Denker is the president of Penske Corporation, and uh, he is the chairman of the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, presented by Lear, one of our sponsors today, Ray Scott, Team Team Scott, as I like to say there at Lear. And uh, and Bud has some good news. And uh, anytime we talk to Bud, it's a good morning. Good morning, Bud. Good morning, Paul W. It's uh, great to speak with you this morning. It's been far too long. since we've It been has been. Together. It has been. I don't remember the last time I saw you, unfortunately, but it's probably been a year with the way things have gone. It has, but we're going to be together very shortly. In fact, 77 days away, we will have uh, <laughs> five races on Belle Isle, and uh, we can't wait to bring some, hopefully some normalcy and some excitement back to downtown Detroit and, of course, to our beloved Belle Isle. And, and it's been decided that you're going to go back to the traditional one weekend format in 2021. Uh, and I think that's, I, well, I know that's a good thing for those of us who are putting schedules together and trying to squeeze in as many things that are coming back on the calendar that have been gone. It's going to be very busy for the, the COVID free months ahead. It will be. And the reason why is because we originally had a, conflict with the 24 hours of Le Mans in France. And many of our drivers run both races. They run Belle Isle and they run the race over there. But now that Le Mans has been pushed back a few months, we're able to have our weekend back to one weekend, which we're excited about. It's good for the sponsors, good for our fans, great for the city, great for our calendars, as you mentioned as well. But so importantly, we are going to now have eight hours of national TV coverage of our beautiful riverfront our beautiful city our beautiful belle isle and you can't put a value on what that means the postcard to the world that people are going to see with some hopefully some normalcy back in downtown and bringing people back downtown to have some excitement and some fun and to see some great racing it's i mentioned this earlier we we look fabulous <clears throat> you you make us look fabulous on uh, national television mostly nbc this time and uh, it's such Belle Isle is such a jewel, a gem. This island in in the midst of all the water and everything that's going on there, and it introduces the world to just how great and many of the great things that we have in Detroit that not everybody knows about. Of course, we all get excited about the racing, uh, even if we don't follow it all the time. When the racing comes to our own backyard, with this fabulous race, the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix, presented by Lear. Uh, returning to the one weekend format that is june 11th through the 13th put it on your calendar um and uh, you've got music food and really great racing and now very exciting for the chevrolet corvette to be able to race in its own backyard in the shadow of the world headquarters of general motors people people love that new corvette and for good reason and they're going to watch that happen too well, it's perfect to have your road show today presented by General Motors. And you mentioned Ray Scott, a big partner of ours from Lear as well. We can't thank them enough. But the new C8 Corvette is an amazing vehicle. It's an amazing vehicle. And we're so excited for the first time since 2008 that the Corvettes will be racing back on Belle Isle again that weekend in its hometown, uh, in the shadows of the Renaissance Center, their corporate headquarters. So you're going to see those cars racing. Of course, you'll see the stars of the IndyCar series, Team Penske, and many others as well down there. They're racing. The only thing we don't know, of course, is the number of people that will be allowed to attend. We're going to be going by, of course, city, county, and, and statewide protocols uh, for safety. Uh, I, I hope that vaccinations will continue and they'll continue in the upright trajectory they are. We can have a lot of people down there, but uh, that'll be dependent upon the protocols we have at that time. We're happy to see the Tigers will have 20% capacity for their opening game just next week, and hopefully those things will continue to improve so we'll have great fans on Belle Isle also 77 days from now. Boy, that I got to tell you, I, frankly, I hadn't even thought about limitations all the way into June for an outside, outdoor uh, event yeah. like this, but I, I'm sure hoping that for June 11th through the 13th, anybody who wants to go will be able to go. And I'll talk about uh, tickets and availability in a moment, but you just mentioned uh, Roger Penske. How is Roger? Roger's doing great. He's um, he's um, energetic as always, uh, positive as always, like you are, Paul W., and uh, leading our great company of almost 60,000 associates around the globe. And 
uh, we're blessed we're with our with our health uh, we're blessed for Roger of course as well and um, but business is good he's good and uh, we're all very fortunate to be in our great city and uh, and have our great health I can see Roger he's so positive I can see, I can see Roger trying to find the silver lining in every cloud he could probably be saying well you know uh, with COVID and everything, that gives us an extra opportunity to fix up the Indianapolis Motor Speedway that uh, we need to do a lot of work on. So now we have the opportunity. I can see Roger Penske finding the positive side of all of this. Am I right? Well, you're absolutely right. And I'll tell you one, one additional byproduct of owning the Speedway is we announced just this week with the governor of Indiana, we we're going to vaccinate 100,000 people at the Speedway. In 15 days, having them drive right through the speedway, right through our garages, never get out of their car, uh, vaccinate them. And the, another one of the uh, services that we're providing to the great people of Indiana, uh, 100,000 people beginning April 1st. So we're looking forward to the Indy 500 with fans Memorial Day weekend. And, of course, right after that, they come to Belle Isle two weeks after that to be here with us. The, the, we're, we're excited now that we own the series and that we own the speedway. And, of course, we're excited to bring this great racing back to Belle Isle. It's been far too long, two years since this, we've been racing in Detroit. We are the Motor City capital of the world, and uh, we can't thank General Motors and our great partners of Lear Enough and our other sponsors as well, Huntington Blank, Blue Cross, DTE, and many others that make it possible for us, Paul W. The 2021 Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear. Tickets are not yet available, but expected to go on sale soon. And it's the good old same uh, email address, DetroitGP.com or web page, DetroitGP.com. You check in there. You'll be the first to know when those tickets go on sale. But you could give us a little hint if you know, bud. Well, we expect the tickets to go on sale the next few weeks here as we work with the state and work with the county and city and the protocols in terms of limits. So we'll, we'll have better ideas about that. But, uh, you know, one more thing I want to thank is Eric Larson and Cindy Paskey for their great leadership at the DDP and Downtown Partnership. It's all part of our program here. And without their leadership and what goes on downtown and the Dan Gilbert's announcement yesterday and Jay Farner, we got great momentum for this city and we want to see it continue with this race here in Belle Isle. Absolutely correct. And you're mentioning some of the very, very linchpin people that uh, continue to work on behalf of the uh, the folks of Detroit, and we so appreciate it. And that includes you, Bud Danker, along with Roger Penske. Thanks so much for being with us, and congratulations. Very exciting news. Uh, one weekend, a great weekend, June 11th through the 13th, for the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear. Thanks so much, Bud. All the best, Paul. Take care. Bye-bye. As we continue on WJR at 729. This report is sponsored by Exergen. Accuracy matters. Trade up any non-contact thermometer for a $5 rebate toward an Exergen purchased at any retailer. Accuracy matters when taking temperature. Upgrade to Exergen, the only home forehead thermometer proven accurate by published peer-reviewed clinical studies. Visit exergen.com. We'll have Bud Denker back and talk more about uh, when the tickets are available, if they're going to have to limit the number, etc., and how this might affect the uh, very important grand premiere uh, because the plan was to take it off the island and have it out at uh, greenfield village the henry ford so we'll get details on that a little bit later when may maybe more information is available speaking of information we've got it our wjr traffic and weather first with dana clark couple of spots uh, to watch out for flooding. Farmington Ramp to 96 westbound is blocked due to flooding. Also, if you're traveling along your 75 northbound and southbound ramp to 94 eastbound, that is flooded as well. Seeing a slow drive, 75 southbound between 12 and 11 mile. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, expecting these rain showers to taper off by 11 a.m. this morning. That's when that wind advisory ends. Also, wind advisory until 11 a.m., uh, seeing some uh, showers, uh, not all day, just the first part of the morning. Later today, just clouds, a high of 59. Could see some wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. Tonight, cloudy, 36 for the weekend. Dry on Saturday, a high of 60. Showers, 38 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie Osborne in just one minute. Celebrate Easter in style, your way, with Andiamo or Joe Muir Seafood.
The restaurants were open on Easter Sunday from noon until 8 p.m. and are now accepting reservations. Safety measures include temperature checks, tables of no more than six people, and daily sanitizing. If you prefer to celebrate at home, Andiamo and Joe Muir Seafood are offering delicious brunch packages to go that are ready to heat and serve for a memorable Easter brunch. Visit JoeMuir.com or AndiamoItalia.com for menus and reservations. Know your risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Tune in Sundays at 3 to News Talk 760 WJR to hear about the latest diagnostic technology from Dr. Brian Collender. COVID on the rise. Michigan reporting 5,224 new cases of the coronavirus, 49 new deaths. 30 of those were found in a review of records. These new cases are the most reported this year. In fact, the most since reported since the middle of last December. State health officials say much of the increase can be traced to about 70% of the people who were not isolating after starting to show COVID symptoms. A high-stakes bitter feud between Republican Michigan lawmakers and Governor Whitmer continues. The Senate approving a bill yesterday that would offer $1.2 million in grants to any county prosecutor who investigates the governor's nursing home policies during the pandemic. The vote came 10 days after the state attorney general, Dana Nessel, rejected a Republican request to launch her own investigation. Democrats blasting the Republican move, calling it a state-approved bribe to prosecutors. A series of tornadoes hitting the Deep South, killing at least five people, causing mass destruction. Birmingham, Alabama resident Tim Herring says that he was warned just minutes before the tornado destroyed his house. It happened real quick, so it didn't have a whole lot of time. I was already asleep and heard the siren go off. And Herring says he and his wife waited out the storm in their bathtub, covered with a shower curtain as pieces of their house started to crumble on top of them. And this is the Shelby County Sheriff, John San Diego. The uh, tornado came into Shelby County around the city of Helena, causing damage there coming through Pelham, where it really damaged, really started uh, to be very serious damage was on Highway 119, close to Her Herdmont Park. The Oak Ridge subdivision as well as Summer Place was damaged. And the uh, assessment of damage continues this hour. President Biden discussing voting rights and in the Senate filibuster during his first solo presidential press conference. Here's Fox's Rachel Sutherland. President Biden blasted Republican voting laws in some states, calling them sick and pernicious. Deciding that you're going to end voting at five o'clock when working people are just getting off work. Deciding that there will be no absentee ballots under the most rigid circumstances. The president also said the Senate filibuster needs to be reformed, calling it a relic of the Jim Crow era. It's being abused in a gigantic way. President Biden called for a talking filibuster meaning a lawmaker would need to hold the floor to delay ending debate on a bill. Rachel Sutherland, Fox News. The Supreme Court has ruled the Ford Motor Company can be sued in the state courts of people who were killed or seriously injured in accidents involving Ford vehicles. The high court rejected the automaker's arguments that it could not be sued for accidents in Minnesota and Montana because the vehicles involved were originally sold in other states and later purchased and later purchased elsewhere. United States Supreme Court's rejecting that argument. Checking the world markets this morning. They all remain up this hour. The China uh, China closed up today. Nikkei closing up. London is up. The Dow futures are up. For WJR News, I'm Marie Osborne. We'll have more of the Paul W. Smith Show coming your way in two minutes. Here in Michigan, we're used to keeping ourselves busy all winter long. Whether that's enjoying mugs of hot chocolate by the fireplace or a late night of movie watching. And at DTE, we want to help keep that winter fun going while saving you money. With our online interactive home, you can find ways to save throughout yours, from your kitchen to your living room. Stay cozy and save. Head to DTEinteractivehome.com today. DTE. The easiest way to stay warm and save money is to visit DTEenergy.com slash saveenergy. Hey, I can save on my energy bill just by wearing a sweater? Just turn down your thermostat to 68 or below and dress warmly to save money and still be cozy. Easy, right? Keep rugs off vents, open blinds when it's sunny. Well, that's easy. Told you so. 
at dteenergy.com slash save energy. You can learn even more. DTE. Hi, Ken and Chuck here, the Inside Outside Guys. You've heard us say many times that painting is not a do-it-yourself project. The folks at CertiPro Painters know a great paint job starts with the prep, making sure the surface will accept the high-quality primers and paints they use. CertiPro Painters uses only professional technicians and will treat your home with the same love and care you expect. And they're trained to keep you, the homeowner, and the painting team safe. And CertiPro Painters experts can help with those tough color choices as well as using the right products for the right application. So if you're looking for a weatherproof paint for the outdoors or a scrubbable finish for the kids' room, they can do it all. On time, every time. Each CertiPro Painters business is independently owned and operated. They are right here in your community. So the next time you're considering new paint anywhere in your home, think CertiPro Painters. Schedule your free estimate at CertiPro.com. That's Certa with a C. Professional painters you can trust. Hi, I'm Matt Garko from Bill Brown Ford. Here's a tip that other dealers won't tell you. You can turn your Ford or Lincoln lease in at Bill Brown Ford no matter where you bought it from. It's true, and we're happy to do it. Whether your lease is up or any time throughout the duration of your lease, no matter where you do business, we'll make it easy for you to become a Bill Brown Ford customer. So switch your lease to Bill Brown Ford, the number one Ford dealer in Michigan. We'll make sure that you get into the vehicle you love. So get started now at BillBrownFord.com. Don't miss the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. on WJR. Learn how you can earn a full-time income working from home as a trader. That's the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. The question line is 888-646-8787. WJR's Business Beat, weekday mornings at 7-Eleven. Startup Nation's Jeff Sloan talks small business and entrepreneurs with Paul W. Smith. Brought to you by MyBank, Southeast Michigan's newest bank built for business and the busy people who run them. Visit them at mi.bank. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. Very excited to be featuring a great uh, partner, General Motors, a great uh, community member, uh, for sure. Uh, Kathy Steelgrave will be here, Assistant Plant Director at General Motors Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Center, Factory Zero, which is a big story, and we'll uh, talk about that, Marie. Uh, A couple of other things uh, uh, that are being uh, talked about. I see that the Detroit Public School Community District uh, is thinking uh, very seriously about closing in-person teaching for about a week following spring break. Now, they're not the the first or only people to do that, and that's really kind of thinking ahead if you consider that there are going to be people that are going to be gathering, traveling, uh, et cetera, for spring break. Why not get ahead of it and say, okay, fine, the week or even two after spring break, we're going back to the uh, the hands-off, so to speak, uh, virtual school. What do you think about that? Well, a lot of uh, several uh, superintendents in Wayne County came out yesterday and talked about that and said this is just a, a, a good preemptive measure to just say, let's just take a week off. I mean, you, you're going to have some spring break travel. Kids are going to be kids. Families are going to be families. So let's just uh, do a cooling off period after that's done and uh, hopefully uh, stop some of the spread of the virus. Of course, now we're just seeing this explosion in the numbers. I think it's very wise. I just think it makes all kinds of sense. I think it is very wise, too. I don't think they need to talk about it anymore. They just need to do it. Right. Right. And uh, the health department just said yesterday that they think 70 percent of the spread right now is due to people who are not quarantining when they're showing signs of the virus. So it's important for people also to remember if you are, you know, showing signs of the virus, it's not allergies. It's always good to double check. Go get a test. It's easy now to get a test. Right. Just right. take a few minutes. You can go anywhere to do that now. And uh, so it, this, I think, is an important component of the story as well. I agree. Uh, 7.40 here on this Friday morning, wet Friday morning. I still haven't gotten my newspapers this morning. I don't know what the, the holdup might be, but we hope the newspaper deliverers are doing okay in the uh, on the wet, wet uh, roadways. Meanwhile, uh, the other great news, Jennifer and Dan Gilbert, 
again, giving back to the community, this time to the neighborhoods and individuals with uh, a half billion dollars into Detroit's neighborhoods. And I think you said earlier, 15 million of it goes to help people uh, pay off or pay their mortgage payments that are past due that could cause them to lose their homes. No, actually and, what they're doing is paying the back taxes on the property. It's the back, taxes. Yeah, back taxes on the property, which as you know, I mean, if you're struggling to make ends meet, sometimes that tax get, bill gets put aside. Right. And what happens then? You you earn uh, penalties on that, interest on that, and it just becomes this unwieldy mess. So yeah. 20,000 uh, Detroit residents will be vote uh, will within the next few days waking up and finding that their tax bill has been taken care of and that they can and move and, and that's not the first time that uh, a Dan Gilbert organization Jay Farner and the team have uh, stepped up to try to keep people in their homes so I want to mention that uh, we've been talking about uh, the sweet 16 we shouldn't forget it's not just uh, Michigan men's basketball that's playing Sunday taking on uh, Florida State uh, but it's the women on Saturday in their first Sweet 16 appearance for the University of Michigan. So that's all good news, too. Yep, it'll be great to see how well they do. And then, of course, uh, as we, for our Jewish friends, head into Passover, uh, we wish them good Seder. So there's a lot going on heading into this very special weekend. Let's uh, take care of a little business, see what you're heading into at 742. This report is sponsored by LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Tax season can be a big headache if identity thieves steal personal info from your tax forms. LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. Let's check in our WJR traffic and weather first. Just ahead of Kathy Steelgrave, here's Dana Clark couple of problems out there of course it is wet some areas are flooded so keep that in mind 94 eastbound right before van dyke the left lane is blocked up by an accident traffic is slow from 75 disabled vehicle in st Clair county 94 westbound after division road it is blocking the right shoulder now wjr weather first from the weather channel rain beginning to scoot on off toward the east lingering showers this morning windy and becoming partly cloudy today with a high of 57 some clouds tonight colder 35 degrees surrounding areas even chillier Considerably cloudy tomorrow, low 60s. Sunday, windy with a few showers. Good morning, Kathy. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Okay. Just doing a quick audio check for you. You sound pretty okay. good. All right. Your framing's pretty good. I think you're Hi, all Kathy. set. Good morning. Good morning, Kathy. Welcome. Looking forward Thank to you. our conversation coming up here in just a moment. Excellent. If I could hear the station again, Sean. By calling 248-726-0517. That's 248-726-0517. Special financing and delivery will be available by Evola Music. To ensure the best selection and price, schedule your preview and purchase appointment now by calling 248-726-0517. Don't miss this opportunity to save thousands of dollars on the piano your family desires at Oakland University's Piano Sale, hosted off-campus in Pontiac. This weekend only. For directions and to schedule an appointment, call 248-726-0517. That's 248-726-0517. As we adapt to the new work environment, the sheet metal and Air Conditioning Contractor National Association. SMACNA is here for you. Their skilled contractors can help your commercial, industrial, and residential project take protective measures by servicing HEPA air filtrations, UVC and UVGI air cleaning systems, and test balance and adjust appropriate ventilation so it's maintained in your workplace or home. Hire the contractors that set the standards in construction. Visit SMACNAD.org. That's S-M-A-C-N-A-D dot org. When it's all on the line in March, every free throw counts. Now, with Twinspire Sportsbook Primetime Play of the Week, you only need one team to hit one free throw to double your money. Sign up at Twinspires with code PRIMETIME and get exclusive plus 100 odds on any team to make one free throw in this weekend's games. Void where prohibited. For terms and conditions, visit Twinspires.com. Offer valid for new players only up to a maximum bet of $25. You must be 21 and older and present in Michigan to bet for help with the gambling problem, call 1 800 270 7117. Know your risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Tune in Sundays at 3 to News Talk 760 WJR to hear about the latest diagnostic technology from Dr. Brian Collender. 
Aria is proud to support WJR's Roadshow with Paul W. Smith every Friday this month. Hear all about the future of mobility and the great new vehicles you'll be seeing on the road today, tomorrow, and into the future. Aria builds quiet, comfortable, durable into your vehicle. Hi, I'm Connie Holzer. We know you can buy a Ford from any Ford dealer for about the same price. So it's our job to make sure you feel special the moment you walk through our door. At Tom Holzer Ford, our team is dedicated to making sure you have a great experience. Sales, service, parts, body shop, whatever the reason, we're here to take great care of you. At Tom Holzer Ford, we promise to take care of you before and after the sale. So buy American, buy Ford, and buy from Tom Holzer Ford. 10 Mile and Haggerty in Farmington. Hills. Thank you. Hi, Ken and Chuck here, the inside outside guys. You've heard us say many times that painting is not a do it yourself project. The folks at Serta Pro Painters know a great paint job starts with the prep, making sure the surface will accept the high quality primers and paints they use. Serta Pro Painters uses only professional technicians and will treat your home with the same love and care you expect. And they're trained to keep you, the homeowner, and the painting team safe. And Serta Pro Painters experts can help with those tough color choices as well as using the right products for the right application. So if you're looking for a weatherproof paint for the outdoors or a scrubbable finish for the kids' room, they can do it all. On time, every time. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. They are right here in your community. So the next time you're considering new paint anywhere in your home, think Serta Pro Painters. Schedule your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Professional painters you can trust. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today featuring General Motors. This stop on the road show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. Big weekend. Uh, I've, I've forgotten I should mention uh, Sunday is Palm Sunday. So there's a lot going on uh, besides basketball um, that is happening. It's March Madness, but March is also Women's History Month. Kathy Steelgrave is a perfect person to talk about women in industry and specifically the automotive industry, as assistant plant director at General Motors, Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Center. And one of the biggest stories uh, ever, of course, for General Motors is Factory Zero. And we want to talk a little bit about that and more with Kathy Steelgrave. Kathy, welcome to the Paul W. Smith Show at WJR. Thank you, Paul. It's great to be here. And by the way, um, since we've been talking about sports, you're very big into hockey, I'm told. <laughs> I am, yeah. Uh, hockey is an important part of my life, uh, my husband's life, and my children. And it's also, um, it's kind of what brought me to GM through some people that I, I knew who I played hockey with. So um, it's, a, it's a big part of my life. I am, I'm told in some of the uh, fact sheets that I was given that you were part of the GM Women's Employee Resource Group that played in the GM versus Ford hockey game prior to COVID. That's, now, that's, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming that by just saying that you guys played, that maybe GM didn't beat Ford, or were they just being kind by not <laughs> pointing that out? Which was it? Uh, I've played in two games, and we lost one and we won one. So okay, that's we, that perfect. Were, yeah, we're waiting on the rubber match. We had to cancel this year, so we're looking forward to next year for that opportunity. What uh, position do you play? Uh, I play defense, and, and I've played defense for a while. So as an, an older participant, that's the safe <laughs> bet. What got you started in hockey, and how, how young uh, were you? I grew up on a lake in Waterford, so I started skating when I was about three or four, and I didn't play on an organized team until I could pay for it myself, uh, as I was uh, taught by my parents. So around 19 or 20, I joined a uh, a team and and then ended up playing since then what a what a great uh, road you've been on with uh, earning your bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from my uh, alma mater and yours university of michigan then a master's degree in engineer industrial management from oakland university and now here you are uh, as assistant plant director at, at this factory zero is it, it's what everyone's talking about tell us about it yeah, it, it's an amazing opportunity to uh, work in a, a plant where we're completely gutting everything and putting in new technology to build the future of GM and the auto industry. Um, it, it's an exciting time. 
it is an exciting time, uh, and it's a it's a, a challenging time. We're going to be building all electric vehicles, as announced by General Motors, Mary Barra, and uh, and that's a big step in that direction. Uh, we have to, in some cases, kind of drag people along. There are a lot of people who have not yet um, considered an electric vehicle, and pretty soon they're going to have to. And then that also brings up the, the 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 concerns about the electric grid and all of that. Can you get involved in any of that, uh, or do you just have to keep your eyes on the prize and and keep doing what you're doing uh, for Factory Zero? I do need to keep my eyes on the prize for what we're doing here. But in terms of the product, we you know, we're building a product that will delight many customers. Customers who maybe hadn't considered an electric option will be delighted by our vehicle. Well, that's a nice way to put it. I like that. They're going to be delighted by these vehicles. Kathy is a third generation GM employee, joined GM in 2016 as senior project lead global manufacturing operational excellence, uh, and then has worked her way now to this position. And uh, what really happens to be the most important, I don't know, I, 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 you can probably tell me because you're in the midst of it, but a factory zero is one of the biggest things ever to happen in a very long and storied history for General Motors. It, it's it's certainly unique. Um, uh, this is my seventh assembly plant, and I've never been a part of anything quite like this. To have the opportunity to rebuild physically and also uh, our culture uh, here with our employees. So tell me a little bit about the history. Uh, if this is your seventh uh, manufacturing plant, I would guess, Kathy Steelgrave, that there have been a number of important changes along the way up that ladder of seven manufacturing plants. Can you give us a little tour of that? Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah. Um, here at General Motors, I've worked at Factory Zero prior to that, Lansing Delta Township, and before that, Orion Assembly. And then uh, I worked for uh, Stellantis, FCA, Chrysler at uh, three different plants as well. I worked at the um, Sterling Heights assembly plant, the Jefferson North assembly plant, and then at the Jeep plant in Toledo where it was actually two plants. So the old plant and then the uh, Toledo North plant. And that that new plant in Toledo, uh, and we have a lot of Toledo listeners, they're very proud of that new plant. It is it is a beautiful plant, that's for sure. But man, oh man, you've had a tremendous amount of experience uh, and now to be there at what seems to be the pinnacle of manufacturing right now, the uh, factory zero, it's a, it's a very big deal. Obviously, it's uh, it's something that you love to go into the family business, third generation, and you keep saying, well, at my age, I have to be careful playing <laughs> hockey or whatever. I, what, come on. Uh, you obviously have been doing this a long time and uh, are highly regarded and lauded. Tell me a little bit more about how Factory Zero is uh, is going to be so different from every other factory experience you've had. The assembly process will generally be the same. There'll be a body shop, a paint shop, and an assembly shop, but we will have a battery uh, plant right here on site, a, contig a contiguous battery supplying to our line. Um, so that's exciting and that's different. There's details about it that are, are new technology, different than anything I've done before uh, that I won't get into now, but it, um, that's what makes it, it different. Oh, wait a second. Wait, speed, wait a well, second. Wait, wait, wait. Is that, a, is that a company secret? Is that why you're not going to get into it now? <laughs> well, We're among I, friends. We're among friends, Kathy. I, I don't know if it's a company secret or not, Paul. It's just not, uh, it's not something I really would like to get into right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen. Let Jim do that if it's yeah, Jim is coming up. Maybe he'll get into that if he can. Right. But I, I, look at you're in one of the most competitive, most technologically advanced uh, industries in the world. Uh, and it took a long time for us to get our due from those folks out on the West Coast who never looked at a car as the computer on wheels that it is. And with all of the computer technology and chips, which we're now finding by having a shortage of chips that it's it's slowing our production down. So have you felt any of that right now? Not here at Factory Zero, no. No, we well, haven't. 
certainly yeah. good news. What else do we need to know about Factory Zero before we let you go, Kathy? Um, the the team here, it's, it's a diverse team, but it's also an inclus inclusive team. So we're working hard to create uh, appearances, diversity in backgrounds, but also to be inclusive together. It's a great energy that we have, and I'm excited to be a part of it. Have you seen a nice uptick and growth in women in manufacturing? I, I feel I should ask that question during uh, Women's History Month. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have. I've. Uh, this is probably the team that has the most women that I've ever been a part of, and to be one of the leaders on the staff is also equally exciting. To be a role model in that position. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Thanks for taking time out from your busy schedule to join us on this Friday morning. We appreciate it, Kathy. Yeah, no problem. Kathy Steelgrave, Assistant Plant Director at General Motors Detroit Hamtramck Assembly Center, Factory Zero at 757. This report is sponsored by LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Tax season can be a big headache if identity thieves steal personal info from your tax forms. LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. The Jim she's talking about is Jim Quick, Factory Zero's plant executive director. He'll be with us right out of the 8 o'clock news, which will be coming up right now. We've got our WJR traffic and weather first at 757 and Dana Clark. 94 westbound after Division Road disabled vehicle is blocking that to right shoulder. 94 eastbound right before Van Dyke accident blocking the left lane, seeing delays from at least 75. Now, WJR weather first from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Window World. Call Window World 1 800 Next Window for your window, door, or siding project. Get 0% financing for 60 months. Window World is America's largest exterior replacement remodeler and a trusted team partner of WJR's Inside Outside Guys. Call 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW or visit windowworlddetroit.com. Wind advisory until 11 a.m. this morning. Showers should be tapering off uh, around then for sure. Rain is done uh, once it wraps up this morning for the rest of the day. Just left with cloudy skies, windy conditions, a high of 59. Tonight, cloudy. Your low 36 a Saturday, a dry, a high of 60 under partly cloudy skies, some raindrops possibly a Sunday morning, clouds later in the day, a high of 50. Cloudy, 38 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie Osborne in two minutes. Confidence. It's important to have when you're on the road. Be prepared for whatever the weather brings with a new set of innovative Bridgestone or dependable Firestone tires on your car, truck, SUV, or minivan so you know you're riding on tires you can trust. Bridgestone and Firestone tires are engineered to give you peace of mind so you can focus on enjoying the journey. Bridgestone is proud to support their OE and aftermarket customers around the globe. Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Did you know March is Red Cross Month? To celebrate, the American Red Cross of Michigan is hosting a virtual annual fundraiser that kicks off this Wednesday, March 24th. During the... Good morning, Jim. Welcome to the stream. Morning. Morning. Just doing a quick sound check for you. Uh, you're, you look pretty good in the frame. Go ahead and uh, talk for me for a little bit. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing. Sounds good. Yep. Okay, Sounds great. Good. All right. I'm going to pull us both out, and then when Paul comes back, we'll put you back in. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Price you can afford. Select quote found Jacob 40, who's in excellent health, a 10 year, $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. Not in perfect health? Don't worry. Select quote found Tanya 40, who has type 2 diabetes, a 10 year, $500,000 policy for only $32 a month. We shop companies like Protective, Prudential, American General, and others to find you the company with the best rates. Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. For your free quote, call 1-800-885-8811. That's 1-800-885-8811. Or go to selectquote.com. That's 1-800-885-8811. Select quote. We shop, you save. Get full details on the example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. Your premium could vary depending on your health, issuing company, and other factors. Not available in all states. WJR Detroit and WDVD HD2 Detroit, the great voice of the Great Lakes, 760 WJR, where Detroit comes to talk.
Dominion Voting Systems has filed a $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against Fox News. The suit argues the news organization made false claims that Dominion had rigged the 2020 election in order to boost ratings. The defamation lawsuit is the first filed against a media outlet by the company at the center of false claims spread by former President Donald Trump and many of his allies. Dominion has already filed lawsuits against pro-Trump lawyers Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell. Earlier this week, Powell filed a motion to dismiss the lawsuit against her, saying that, quote, reasonable people should not have accepted her claims as fact. A second voting system company, Smartmatic, had already filed lawsuits against Fox News and several of its on-air personalities for spreading misinformation about the 2020 election. Tornadoes ripping through Alabama on Thursday. Today, crews around the state are cutting down trees that have fallen down like this in Pelham, Alabama. At least five people dying due to the tornadoes. Big boost for Detroit residents struggling to stay in their homes. Dan Gilbert announcing he plans to invest $500 million into Detroit's neighborhoods in the next decade, and he will begin by paying the back taxes on 20,000 Detroit's of Detroiters' homes. Gilbert says that unpaid property taxes were the main cause of blight in the city. Egypt trying to dislodge a giant ship blocking the Suez Canal, but the operation is proving very difficult. Fox's Simon Owen reports. The Suez Canal Authority says it's received an offer of help from the U.S. and looks forward to cooperating. But in the meantime, a giant container ship remains stuck. The Ever Given has been wedged across the waterway since Tuesday. Tugboats and a dredging machine are trying to dislodge it, but salvagers say the operation could take weeks. Hundreds of other ships are waiting, unable to enter what's normally one of the world's busiest shipping channels for trade. In London, Simon Owen, Fox News. The FBI is now helping in the search for the girlfriend of an Oakland County man who is missing in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Ryan Bain of Lake Orion reported 41-year-old Sarm Heslop missing from his catamaran in the early morning hours of March 8th. She had reportedly moved to the Virgin Islands in hopes of becoming a chef. A one-of-a-kind collection of historic racing vehicles and memorabilia going on display starting tomorrow at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn. Among the stars of the show is a 1901 sweepstakes that was driven by Henry Ford in October of 1901 at a Gross Point horse track. The car won the race and the victory helped secure funding for the brand new Ford Motor Company. The exhibit also features 25 other vehicles. Checking in on the world markets this morning, they remain trending up. China and Nikkei closed up today. London is up. The futures are up here at home. For WJR News, I'm Marie Osborne. Back to Paul W. Smith in two minutes. Help solve food insecurity in Michigan. Hear thought leaders from across the state on Food First Michigan with Dr. Phil Knight and Jerry Brisson. Sunday nights at 9 on WJR, presented by Farm Bureau Insurance of Michigan and the Food Bank Council of Michigan. From the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle to the toughest pickup truck box available, a next-generation electric vehicle battery case or the complete body of a world-class performance car. Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight improve performance and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities powered by science brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. Hi, Ken and Chuck here, the Inside Outside Guys. You've heard us say many times that painting is not a do-it-yourself project. The folks at CertiPro Painters know a great paint job starts with the prep, making sure the surface will accept the high quality primers and paints they use. CertiPro Painters uses only professional technicians and will treat your home with the same loving care you expect. And they're trained to keep you, the homeowner, and the painting team safe. And CertiPro Painters experts can help with those tough color choices as well as using the right products for the right application. So if you're looking for a weatherproof paint for the outdoors or a scrubbable finish for the kids' room, they can do it all. On time, every time. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. They are right here in your community. So the next time you're considering new paint anywhere in your home, think Serta Pro Painters. Schedule your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Professional painters you can trust. This is it's a new day. A day of winning big at Soaring Eagle. Like Million Dollar Mania. 
going on every Saturday through April. Each week, we're giving away $90,000 in premium play with five lucky winners every half hour starting at 4 p.m. So get in on the mania, Million Dollar Mania, only at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Visit SoaringEagleCasino.com for complete rules and details. It's the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Here's Paul. It's Friday! Yay! Ooh, you can say that again. Yay! Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It is Friday, a wet one, but it's Friday, March 26th, the 85th day of 2021, with 280 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift, and especially this one, as the WJR Paul W. Smith Show Road Show continues, and we're featuring General Motors this morning. And from Kathy Steelgrave that we spoke with just moments ago, she referred to Jim. Well, that's Jim Quick, who's now joining us. Uh, and by the way, at WJR.com or the WJR Facebook page, uh, you can watch us as well as hear us on these various road shows that we do. So, Jim, Factory Zero's plant executive director, it is a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure, Paul W. Thanks for having me on this morning. I am. Uh, I'm excited for you because I, I I picked up in in getting ready for this show just how excited everyone is with building this plant, which was an empty shell. And now it's really coming together uh, the way it needs to, to be what is going to be arguably the most significant uh, uh, plant in General Motors' long list of plants. Absolutely. Coming together is a great word. I mean, we, we spent a lot of last year with a large section of the roof off the place and three walls down. And, and you know, the, the state of the, the, the plant right now is is transformational. I mean, we've got the our state-of-the-art paint shop, which is uh, underway and, and I'd say mostly installed about a thousand robots out in our body shop that are uh, uh, practicing, if you will. And then our general assembly area and then Kathy had mentioned our battery assembly area as well. So the, the plant's really coming together. Uh, you know, we took it down to the studs as Kathy mentioned. <laughs> and uh, it's just, it's so exciting to be part of Paul W., it's, it's electric, as we say, right? Well, <laughs> that's a good way to, to think of it. It is electric, and that, that describes the plant and the feeling that's being generated there as people get ready for the assembly of, of many great vehicles, including the Hummer EV and the Cruise Origin. Absolutely. Yeah, we're excited to be you know on the forefront of mobility and certainly uh, at the epicenter of General Motors' zero 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 initiative you know zero crashes zero emissions and zero congestion uh, and we're ready to go to to battle on the ev front well you sound like you're ready to go and you are battle hardened you've been uh, in several assembly plants throughout the u.s as well as the international assignment you had in brazil tell me a little bit about that yeah i've been blessed to have some great experiences with general motors uh through my 27 years um in both here in the U.S. and in South America, um, you know, it's uh, it's been a, a fantastic uh, experience with the company. And, you know, every day I wake up excited to get in here and, and uh, transform Factory Zero into what it's going to be, especially very passionate about our culture. And I, I know that Kathy mentioned that that's the secret she's not telling you, Paul, and, and we're not going to share what we're doing here to <laughs> to uh, increase our engagement, but it's it's uh, it's world class, and we're really proud of it. Well, uh, you're very involved. I've been told uh, uh, in employee engagement and uh, and uh, the team culture at Factory Zero. Without you getting too specific, is something that's extremely important to you. It is, and I got a lot of passion around. Um, you know, we just have such a fantastic team here. The women and men 
a factory zero from my staff to our, our local UAW 22 membership uh, led by Mike Plater, who's a fantastic chairman who I know you know. And, um, you know, we're just really concentrating right now on celebrating the great moments together and not letting anything slip by us, whether it's our unveiling of our brand new sign out front. You know, we renamed our boulevard into the, into the plant, Electric Avenue. We hosted a fantastic clinic here for vaccinations, partnering with the city of Detroit, which is a which a, was a huge success. That was uh, GM's first pilot uh, on-site vaccine clinic, and it um, it did go very well. It did, and and we're really thankful for the city of Detroit, and um, you know we had great participation, and it was just a well-oiled machine here, as it should be, um, in uh, administering those vaccines. You said 27 years, Jim? Yes. Now, it seems probably like only yesterday you were graduating Ferris State. That's and, right, it does. <laughs> I mean, does it, isn't it amazing how, how Go time Bulldogs. flies? <laughs> yeah, right. And then uh, from Ferris State, a graduate of the New York Institute of Technology with a master's degree in business administration, all put to good use. And at a most important time in General Motors history, with factory zero absolutely uh, it is it's an exciting time for detroit uh, it because, is because what happens at general motors as we know the old expression without going into it it's what's good for general motors is good for detroit or good for america if you want to take it all the way through but we're concerned about detroit uh and america but uh, it's it's very exciting even though there's still a lot of questions can we get everybody excited about electric vehicles can the overall electric grid handle everybody uh, driving electric vehicles these are not by any stretch insurmountable uh problems but they are uh they are issues to be looked at right yeah absolutely and and, and i can tell you that in terms of the excitement around our vehicles um and what gm's doing and the commitments that we've made and our pledge to, uh, and our vision of zero, 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 and our uh, commitment to the number of vehicles that we're gonna bring to market in the time frame that we're gonna bring them um, is, uh, you know, unprecedented, uh, you know, in the industry. And we're, we've just got a fantastic um, commitment to uh, zero crashes, zero emissions and zero congestion. And we've got the, the backing of the the full weight of the company and the vision behind that and uh we're just so excited to be part of that here at factory zero and uh leading the way in terms of battery electric trucks and with our cruise origin as well jim i can see why you and kathy are a part of the team that mary mara has put together so wisely for Factory Zero, and I salute you for all the work that you're doing, Jim. Thank you for being with us. And thanks Thank for giving you, us a sneak peek into the factory as it comes together. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Jim Quick is the plant director, General Motors Detroit Hamtramck Assembly, currently under construction to be wholly dedicated to manufacturing all electric vehicles with contiguous battery assembly. It's plant the zero factory zero for general motors and you were just part of history in the making here on this friday morning edition of the paul w smith show on wjr this report is sponsored by exergen accuracy matters get a five dollar rebate by trading up any non-contact thermometer toward an exergen purchased at any retailer accuracy matters especially when it comes to checking for fever exergen's accuracy is backed by published peer-reviewed clinical studies details at exergen.com dana clark and greg russell of movie 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 show 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 plus 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 coming up in just a moment but Data has her traffic hat on and weather. WJR traffic and weather first at 815, Dana. It's been a wet drive this Friday morning, Paul W. Traffic first sponsored by Liberty Title, protecting property since 1974. $2 billion a year is lost to cybercrime and identity theft in real estate transactions. Liberty Title insures and secures your closing dollars. Now offering creative closing options to keep you safe, including remote online notarization, curbside and contactless closings. You have a choice Choose LibertyTitle.com. Disabled vehicle 94 westbound after Division Road. It is blocking the right shoulder. 
Also seeing an accident just reported now in Washington on 94 eastbound after Jackson Road. A crash along 94 eastbound before Van Dyke. That is clear. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Gordon Chevrolet. Gordon Chevrolet is selling the hottest vehicles in town. Pull ahead your lease. Take advantage of zero interest for up to 84 months or sign and drive lease program. End of the month deals. Open special hours this Saturday, 9 to 3. Gordon Chevrolet, Ford Road, just west of Merriman in Garden City. GordonChevrolet.com. Still pushing around a few showers. Most of the rain pushing east, though, this morning. So let's just go with some showers. Otherwise, windy. The clouds give way to some sunshine, especially this afternoon. Cooler 57. Chilly night tonight, relatively speaking, 35. Surrounding areas a little bit colder. Saturday dry, considerably cloudy, 62. Windy with a few showers on Sunday with a high 52. From the Weather Channel, meteorologist Ray Stage account, News Talk 760, WJR. 40 wet degrees at 816, uh, right around the corner, as I mentioned, Greg Russell, but also at 835, Coach Tom Izzo, MSU basketball coach extraordinaire, taking us through the big March Madness weekend ahead of us, and much of that will be on WJR. Of course, the tournament now down to just 16 teams, so... If you've been watching from the sidelines, now would be your chance to get in on the action. FanDuel Sportsbook. FanDuel Sportsbook, hooking you up with exclusive 30 to 1 odds on all 16 teams left in the bracket. Now, even the top seeds are included. New users get 30 to 1 odds on any team to win their next game this round. You can win $150 on a $5 bet. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? 150 bucks on a $5 bet for your first bet with FanDuel. All you have to do is download the FanDuel Sportsbook app and make your first deposit to unlock exclusive 30 to 1 odds. The app is so easy to use, even I can use it, so you know it's got to be pretty easy. And I've been doing pretty well, by the way. I'm not bragging. I just have been pretty lucky. When you win, you'll get paid in as little as 24 hours. Just sign up with promo code Paul W. so they know I sent you. Paul W. is one word here. That's FanDuel Sportsbook. Promo code Paul W. 21 and older and present in Michigan. New users only. Must wager in designated offer market. $10 first deposit required. Maximum bonus $150. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problems? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. Don't miss the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. on WJR. Learn how you can earn a full-time income working from home as a trader. That's the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. The question line is 888-646-8787. Confidence. It's important to have when you're on the road. Be prepared for whatever the weather brings with a new set of innovative Bridgestone or dependable Firestone tires on your car, truck, SUV, or minivan. So you know you're riding on tires you can trust. Bridgestone and Firestone tires are engineered to give you peace of mind so you can focus on enjoying the journey. Bridgestone is proud to support their OE and aftermarket customers around the globe. Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. This is Maria Monti, tax partner for Metro Detroit accounting firm Shindell Rock with our weekly tax tip for business owners. 2020 taxes are due soon, but don't lose focus now on your business's tax planning strategy for 2021 and even 2022. A proactive approach to planning year-round can reduce overall taxes in the long run and eliminate surprises next tax season. Shindell Rock specializes in these and other complex tax questions for Metro Detroit businesses. Learn more at ShindellRock.com. Know your risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Tune in Sundays at 3 to News Talk 760 WJR to hear about the latest diagnostic technology from Dr. Brian Collender. What do you get when you talk to a Dell Technologies advisor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get someone who understands there's an art to listening. Mm -hmm. Sure. Who's able to hear more than what's being said and can provide tailored mm -hmm. small business solutions hey, that make you feel Hello. truly heard. Hello, I understand. Let's get started. For advice on everything from laptops to the cloud and solutions powered by Intel vPro platform, call an advisor today at 877-ASK-DELL. Hey, it's me. You know, I lost my job and I've just been having a really hard time lately. I'm actually starting to worry about myself. I found this app, though, called the How We Reach Coaching Tool, and it's helping me reach out to my friends for support. 
anyway, I was hoping maybe you could come over after your shift. I just need someone to be with me right now and help me sort out what to do next. Let me know, okay? All right, thanks. Visit reach.gov to download the tool today. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. We so appreciate our sponsors, Exalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, uh, Continental uh, Structural Plastics, Lear Corporation, and of course you, our WJR listeners. And when we do these uh, special programs, viewers, because uh, during the WJR Road Show, we stay online the entire show. Of course, this next segment's always online anyway on uh, uh, Facebook, WJR's Facebook page, or WJR.com, because it's time, as you can hear by the music, for Greg Russell of Movie, 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 Movie. Show, 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 Plus, 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 Plus. plus. <laughs> <laughs> and not a moment too soon. <laughs> right. Wow. Friday morning in front of an incredibly busy weekend. <sighs> so we still will have time to watch some good movies this weekend. If there are some good movies this weekend, let's uh, take a look, uh, Greg and Dana, uh, on what's coming up here on Netflix, for example. Right. We, we've got a movie called A Week Away. And it's uh, a tween movie, and it's also a faith-based movie. It's all about these kids who go to a church camp each summer. And this year, there's a guy who's had kind of like a troubled past. So this family who he meets sends him up to the camp, and it's just about him trying to fit in, but then also not let his mysterious past be known. What do you think? It, it's a nice one for kids. I mean, it is. It's definitely a queen movie it's almost like um high school musical because it is a musical where they'll be running along get ready to do something and then they'll go i'm going to hit you now in the mouth oh you're not i'm going to tell you know like that uh, today's west side story that's right that's right but it, it you know it does have the nice message about you know where people get along even the bullies in this movie are not really bullies i mean mm. the biggest thing is yeah yeah <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> have you, uh, Dana, have you had a chance to see it? No. All right. No, I haven't seen no, it. Because most of us don't get the opportunity Greg Russell gets of uh, Movie Show Plus. But we're going to get an opportunity to hear a bit of A Week Away right now. You didn't tell me this was church camp. It's going to be great. I got a Nope. Come on. What's with the name? A week away. A week away. Every once in a while, somebody was just a week away from an experience that changed everything for them. You hear it, you hear it, you hear it too. I'm Avery. Nice to meet you. What's her story? Way out of your league, trust me. Her dad owns the place. If I'm gonna fit in here, I have to be something I'm not. Well, this will be fun. Good luck, Will. Well, it's a church camp, no wonder. <laughs> And I had a good time talking with him about that. From age nine years old to 15, I went to church camp every summer. Mm. And okay. it was, it was kind of like, you know, with them, it's just, you, get, you were just so happy to be away from home. It was great. <laughs> I never got to go to camp. Me Did you go to Dana? No, no. Me either. I, but oh, every year I Greg, you went to, go, to a, I You went go. for a long time, from oh, nine yeah. to 15. Good for you. It, it, it was always fun. Camp Baber in Cassopolis, Michigan. How long would uh, camp last each summer? It would start uh, Saturday to Saturday. So you'd go up there on a Saturday, and then they'd come and pick you up the following Saturday. So a, a week away. And, it, right. and, at, <laughs> and at nine, you were you were okay with that? You didn't feel I, like you were missing your family or anything? Oh, no, I was, I was happy to, you know, because I was like, you know, being happy around. To get but, away. I, I just have to share this with you. I was always, you know, the smallest kid. But at age nine years old, I knew how to talk like Donald Duck. So, you know, be like, hey, bro, come here. How are you? <laughs> oh, I like that. That is a, a really important skill. <laughs> yep. Did that. I was protected because nobody can mess with the duck. So Right. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. So are we giving a week away uh, three thumbs up, uh, 
Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. They're in the middle. I mean, it's one of those where you'll watch it. Like I said, it's it's a nice little quiet movie type deal. But like I said, just also with a good message to go along with it. This next movie is not a nice little quiet movie. <laughs> no. And I'm wondering if it opens next Wednesday, but they haven't shown it to you yet. Is that's a generally it's a bad sign, right? Because I'll, I'll see it on Monday. However, everything that I've been reading about it. Most of the folks are saying just the fight scenes alone are, you know, what's going to be worth it for people to watch as compared to I, with the story. I've just seen bits and pieces of it on television, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks fabulous. It's one of those movies, Dana, that I'll say, I have got to see that, but there's a good chance I won't. But I really want to <laughs> see it. I really want to see it. Let's listen to Godzilla versus Kong. We need Kong. The world needs him. Stop what's coming. It's Godzilla. Who bows to who? Nobody go stop the man. Here we go. Kong bows to no one. Here we go. Okay, but like Friday the 13th, how many movies of these are we going to do? Soon we're going to have Kong versus a squirrel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My money's on the squirrel. I don't know if you can see this, but Paul, do you remember this one? Yeah, King Kong versus Godzilla, Godzilla. Deal, original from like 1963, that kind of started their whole uh, you know thing going up against each other. I haven't, I haven't felt like we've been inundated with these films. No, mm -hmm. no, I, I don't know. How have, many have there been, Greg? It, seems, it just seems like every oh, couple of year years there's a new Kong. Oh, they, they've had Godzilla. Like new individual movies. Okay. Come out. But the one I just picked showed, you know, this was like, I think their first battle. And I think over time they did like two others, you know, they had things going on. But yeah, this is, this is uh, Ali versus Frazier. Right. Ali versus Angler. <laughs> and now, yeah. Godzilla. I love it. Strong. I you see what team I'm on. Uh -oh. Yeah. I, and I was going to say, I'm on uh, uh, Team Kong. Uh, I don't know, Dana, what you feel, if it were either Godzilla or Kong, but I feel choosing Kong is like an American thing. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Dana? Yeah, I agree. I yeah. think King Kong is, is I don't know how he became an American, but <laughs> I, 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 I think that Kong is our American uh, representative out of that Godzilla versus Kong. So I'm going, my money's, I wonder if we can do this on FanDuel. My money <laughs> right. is on Kong there winning you know. this, uh, this battle. And you're picking Kong as well. Absolutely. Uh, yep. it, so, uh, Greg, so it's up to you, Dana. I'll go Kong, too. All, All right. right. It's a clean sweep. <laughs> a right. clean and, sweep. And Have Paul, a... Brother. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for uh, always pushing Russell Brothers City Tours because of you and the good folks there at WJR. We have had bookings now all the way up to... Oh, October. excellent. Oh, so, excellent. We're so, so happy. So well, good things happen to good people, and that's a wonderful tour. In fact, we'll... I haven't heard anything more, but I know we're going to get the whole team together yep. and go on the Russell Brothers tour. So we're looking forward to that. Fantastic. All righty. Uh, we're going to give Godzilla all thumbs up because we haven't seen it yet, but mm -hmm. the hype is making it be that good. And that's it for this Friday morning's movie, 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 movie. Show, 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 plus, 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 plus. Uh, Thanks uh, very much, Gregory. It is Thank ending. You. 829, Dana, your work is not done. Coming up. This report is sponsored by Merrill. With Merrill Guided Investing, you have the option to work with an advisor at a low cost and minimum. Get started at MerrillEdge.com slash investing goals. Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner, and Smith Incorporated, both a registered broker dealer and investment advisor, member SIPC. Coach Tom Izzo coming up and uh, news right now, WJR Traffic and Weather first and Dana. Traffic first sponsored by Marathon for commutes that feel like concerts, road trips that don't go as planned, or long drives that bring you closer together. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance for quality fuel through every mile. Fill up at Marathon. Disabled vehicle 94 westbound after Division Road. It is blocking the right shoulder. Watch for flooding 75 northbound and southbound ramps to 94 eastbound. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Shelving.com. Shelving.com is a one-stop shop for the products your warehouse needs. Double your space with Unirac pallet racks and modular mezzanines or grab Klein and Milwaukee tools for light repairs to large-scale installations. Shelving.com. We rack your world. 
Looks like our rain showers will be wrapping up by 11 a.m. this morning. That wind advisory also until 11 a.m. Cloudy, some spots rain 38 degrees going up to a high of 59. I'm Dana Clark. WJR News with Marie is coming up. Every year, Exalta releases a new mobility color. And here to announce the 2021 Global Automotive Color of the Year is Exalta's Global Color Manager, Nancy Lockhart. Exalta's 2021 Color of the Year is Electrolyte, a refreshing green-yellow hue with bold contemporary elements that bring style and functionality to life. The color is soothing and calm with an opaque simplicity, yet exciting and fresh with its vibrancy. Visit exalta.com slash color for more information. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. This report is sponsored by LifeLock Identity Theft Protection. Tax season can be a big headache if identity thieves steal personal info from your tax forms. LifeLock helps protect, monitor, and restore your identity. No one can monitor all transactions at all businesses, but you can save up to 25% off your first year at LifeLock.com. Promo code RISK. President Biden discussing the surge of migrants and asylum seekers at the U.S.-Mexico border and media access to migrant children facilities during his first solo presidential press conference. Fox's Rachel Sutherland takes a look. Defended his policies on the southern border, saying he's not going to turn away unaccompanied children. From over 18 years of age and single people, one at a time coming, have been sent back. Thousands of minors are in custody, largely hidden from public view. When will reporters gain more access to migrant holding facilities? As soon as I am in a position to be able to implement what we're doing right now. The president said conditions for children in CBP centers are unacceptable to him and said his administration is making progress finding adequate space for them. Rachel Sutherland. Fox News. Fox News, the target of a $1.6 billion lawsuit by Dominion Voting Systems. The suit argues the news organization made false claims that Dominion had rigged the 2020 election in order to boost ratings. Tornadoes passing through Georgia Thursday night, causing massive damage. One woman from Newman, Georgia, Georgia recalls what happened during the tornadoes. We could feel it like shaking the house and everything. And, um, and then I heard I could feel rain start coming in on me. Storm brought down trees, power lines, destroying homes, and several people injured. At least five deaths are blamed on those storms. The Michigan Senate approving a $1.2 million package in grants meant for county prosecutors who wouldn't want to investigate nursing home deaths during the COVID crisis. The measure would have to pass the House, then be signed into law by the governor. Uh, Democrats blasting that this is a Republican move, calling it a state-approved bribe to prosecutors. More pressure has been put on Michigan State University to release some 6,000 documents involving the Larry Nassar sex abuse scandal. The group of 47 state lawmakers sending a letter to the school's board of trustees urging that the material be released. It said MSU can't begin to rebuild its reputation as long as it stonewalls the investigation of the attorney general. Mysterious lights in the sky put on a show for folks in the Pacific Northwest last night. Fox's Carmen Roberts takes a look. Strange lights lit up the night sky over Seattle and parts of the Northwest, and people's confusion over them lit up social media. Even though the bright lights streaming through the sky looked like a huge meteor shower, the National Weather Service says they were debris from a SpaceX rocket as it re-entered Earth's atmosphere. SpaceX launched the Falcon 9 rocket nearly three weeks ago, and its second stage was supposed to make a deorbit burn then. Carmen Roberts, Fox News. Detroit's high-end caucus club has a message for its diners. Pull yourselves together before you come to dinner. In a posting on Facebook, the owners say their dress code is business casual. That means no hoodies, jerseys, baseball caps, tennis shoes that they been seeing a lot of that lately and don't come to dinner at the caucus club smelling like pot they say casual get-ups and out odors will no longer be accepted at the evening checking the world markets this morning they are all up for wjr news i'm marie osborne more of the paul w smith show in two minutes from the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle to the toughest pickup truck box available A next-generation electric vehicle battery case or the complete body of a world-class performance car. Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight, improve performance, and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities powered by science. 
brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. How did we ever come to the belief that we have no control over the inevitability of heart attack or stroke? That it was somehow predestined in our genes, inherited or inevitable due to some random chance that outsmarted the medical field. We've come to accept these two fallacies, but the fact is that heart attack and stroke are 100% preventable and cardiac disease is reversible. It's not in the genes, it's in your profile. It's time to take charge of your health. Call Dr. Brian Collender at 866-K-O-L-E-N-D-E-R. The Paul W. Smith Show's weekly dealer download is powered by Bill Brown Ford. Hi, I'm Matt Darko from Bill Brown Ford in Livonia. Our Ford family of products just keeps getting bigger. And that's why we're having an interactive experience on Saturday, March 27th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. featuring the all-new 2021 Ford Bronco, F-150, and the Mustang Mach-E. The two and four-door 2021 Ford Bronco is tougher than before, smarter than ever, and will take you places you've never been before. And the all-new 2021 hybrid F-150 is purpose built from the ground up. And finally, built with the acceleration of the iconic Mustang heritage, the Mustang Mach-E has expansive range and zero vehicle emissions. And for attending this event, you will receive 11,000 Ford Pass reward points. That's enough for our work service package, including oil change, tire rotation, and vehicle inspection. Bill Brown Ford's interactive dealer experience is this Saturday, March 27th. To register, go online to BillBrownFord.com. For more details, call 734-399-4244 or visit BillBrownFord.com. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. What a big, big weekend we've got going as we head into the uh, Sweet 16. Uh, nobody has a better reporter reporting on all of this activity than WJR and the Paul W. Smith Show with the dynamic duo of Steve Courtney and the one and only MSU basketball coach extraordinaire Tom Izzo. Good morning to both of you, uh, Stevie. It's uh, looking like a great weekend. We'll have activity uh, all over the weekend for the uh, Sweet 16 on WJR. Yeah, no doubt about it, Dub. It's uh, going to be something uh, as we are joined now by our esteemed uh, correspondent, Magnum T.I., Coach Tom Izzo. Coach, how are you? <laughs> I've been waiting to get a real job my whole life, and it sounds like I finally get to work for WJR. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to say, um, be, be happy that it took this long to get a non-paying job. <laughs> well, guys, I tell you, it is not as much fun when you're sitting here uh, doing all this, but, uh, you know, you do have a de decent perspective on things. And uh, I talked to some people down there. Uh, I talked to Dan Gavitt yesterday who's running it. You know, they, they're they trying to do so many things for these kids. You know, like uh, I think yesterday they went to Top Golf and they had it sectioned off in each you know, they've gone to the zoo. Uh, we went to a, and when we were there, you went to the baseball field across and they had volleyball and, uh, you know, wiffle ball and uh, just the, the areas you could walk and, and yet you had to be in your certain groups. Uh, like I said, you know, it, it, it's been difficult, guys, but it's, sure. they've done the best job they can do to try to keep this thing going. And, and I did say to them, and and you can't appreciate it because you don't have to do it. But when you get up every day and test, and you know you're just an eyelash away from a couple guys testing positive, and you're done. And uh, that's still that's the tough. scary moment. You know, you can't let your guard down, whether you believe in some of it or don't. I mean, I've been through so many different people. Um, I did talk to the official, you know, that that there was the big – uproar about because one tested positive and they didn't let five other guys and that official has not been doing really well uh, i've been in contact with him the last maybe four times in the last eight days and he's getting to year day nine or ten now and uh still pretty much in bed so that is the problem guys you know it you never know how it's going to affect each person but as far as these athletes what can still shut that thing down, you know, and they get down to 16, then you get down to eight, then you get down to four. Anytime one of those four teams could. So I do think they've done a heck of a job. 
Um, I, I, I can imagine what it's like a week later. I know our kids were getting, you know, you get a little stir crazy sitting in a hotel, but I keep reminding even my guys now or anybody that, you know, LeBron James did it for three months and, right. uh, you know, part of the price you pay for, for greatness. You know, you make a, an excellent point, uh, which is not a surprise, but I just wanted to underscore it. It's painful, I would guess, to be watching from the sidelines than from being on the sidelines during a game. And we really appreciate that you uh, even offered to be with us uh, like this, to give us some insight. We do appreciate that very much, Tom, because uh, as I think about it, it, it would be very painful. Um, meanwhile, tell me uh, how good a team Florida State is as our Michigan Wolverines uh, will play at 5 o'clock Sunday, the Michigan women's team making it to the uh, to the Sweet 16 for the first time. They'll be playing Saturday. But, again, back to uh, Florida State. How good are they? Well, they're, they're a funny team. Leonard Hamilton is a unique coach. I mean, he plays 10, 11 players. Like, they've got a – Last year, they had a kid drafted that averaged, I think, uh, six, seven points a game. He got drafted in the top 10 picks. Oh. Um, he, he is who he is, man. And he's a tough guy. He's mid seventies. Uh, I've known Leonard a long time and, and, uh, teams play hard as hell. They're big. They've always got a seven, one or two guy. They've, they've got athletes at every position. And one of the big things that could cause some problems for Michigan is they've got, um, usually big guards and those big guards sometimes will post up people. They've never been a great shooting team uh, in most of the years that I've seen Leonard be great. This year, they do have a very good three point shooting team to counter that though. Michigan has a very good defensive team. I, I think if there's one area that Juwan has done a great job on, I think they're, they're very good defensively. And I think, people are starting to realize why we got to final fours and, and even won championships, um, you know, veterans help. And I've watched all the great players that they've had, whether it be Wagner or whether it be the big kid inside and everybody talks about Smith, but you know, the glue to that team, if you ask me is Brooks and he, he scores when he needs to score. He defends every single night. He does all the little things that, Behind closed doors, I, I'd like to ask, I've talked to Phil Martelli a little bit, they're one of their assistants, but behind closed doors, you know, you got to give praise to the superstars that maybe have a chance to be NBA players, and maybe Brooks doesn't. But I think Eli Brooks is maybe one of the, uh, the biggest keys in this game because he's not <laughs> huge for a guard, but he just has a incredible um, savvy He's kind of their Draymond Green. He kind of understands the game so well. He knows how to play his position. He knows. I don't. I don't think he's taken three bad shots since he's been there. You know, and uh, and that's a cr tribute to what they did, what John Beeline did when he got him. And and I think he'll be a big, big key to this game because Michigan can shoot it, but I think they defend well. Now, now uh, they're going to run into a team that defends well too and plays a lot of bodies, so it's foul trouble. It, things like that going to creep into this only time will tell Michigan a two and a half point favorite and of course uh, coach it helps when you got a guy like Shondi Brown coming off the bench and uh, having a career night without Isaiah Livers obviously you go to the next man up philosophy and so far Michigan has been able to do that well one thing Shondi Brown has done is uh, you know he can shoot it like Livers but he he uh, to me he's a better defender even I mean he's tough he's He's, uh, and he's got experience, you know, he spent three years, I think, in the ACC. So he's got experience too. It's a pretty experienced team other than their center. And, uh, so they've had guys that have been through it. You've got a kid like Smith who's been in the Ivy League, finished last, I think, all three or four of his years there. So he's kind of scarred and battle tested, you know, and, uh, you do find that you love those kind of guys that have been through the wars and, uh, and had to learn through failure how to become successful. I think that benefits you as you go. Now, there's a heck of a player from Florida State, and I, as your as your exclusive reporter here, I should know his name, but 
um, he's a freshman. We recruited him a little bit uh, from Florida, and uh, he's a phenomenal athlete at six 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 seven. So it'll be a maybe a great matchup for Wagner, or maybe Shanti Brown will, will have to guard him. But it'll be a I think it'll be a really good game. With uh, hope the officials don't determine it. And what I mean by that is, right, I do think Florida State have more depth and uh you know at least depth that has been that way all year long michigan can play some guys but they've pretty much been a six and seven man unit most of the year where florida state's been a 10 and 11 man unit most wow. of the year. It keeps the players a lot fresher doesn't it you uh, you uh, had a nice compliment for michigan coach juan howard a moment ago coach do you have occasion would there be any reason for you to talk to him very often well, during the year, you know, I mean, uh, and when you're in the Big Ten, especially what we went through this year, um, you know, I do an unknown Juwan. I actually recruited Juwan, but, and, uh, you know, I, I mean, a couple of their assistants, you know, I, uh, I've i known for a long time. And, uh, but Phil Martelli is, I would consider, you know, the old man on the bench um, <laughs> is a very good friend of mine. We've been uh, on boards together for 10, 12 years. And, and have had a very good friendship. So one way or another, you know, you stick together and it's probably hard for Michigan state people, but you got to pull for the big 10. And, uh, and I mean that because, you know, we've taken some lumps and, and why is that? You know, oh, yeah. everybody's got a different theory. It's not that we're not good enough. Um, and remember this tournament comes down to matchups. I, I keep using Maryland, you know, we just did not play well against Maryland. And, and, you know, how do you beat Illinois, Michigan and Ohio state? And you don't play good against Maryland. Well, the matchups, you know, it's it sometimes, but I also wonder guys, if we beat the hell out of each other all year long and, uh, you know, it's just been grind after grind. I mean, there was never an off night in our league. And, uh, when that happens, you know, excuse, but sometimes you wear down, but, uh, I still think the league was every bit as good. It can't be judged on a weekend. It's got to be judged over 20 games. I don't want to say you've been around a long time, Tom, but you just talked about recruiting Juwan Howard as a as a player, <laughs> and now you're playing uh, against him as a coach. Oh, that's not good, is it? <laughs> what was that, about 10 years ago? <laughs> yeah, I got to admit, uh, when you start recruiting players, when you, you know, like it's like, uh, like Denzel Valentine. I mean, you know. Well, he recruited his dad when I was a GA here, and then we recruited him, and now he's gone. And if I don't watch him, maybe I'll be recruiting his son. You know, I don't. Maybe that's time for me to go. But uh, okay. somehow, I think that was a compliment. Though. It was a compliment. It was. It was very friend, backhanded. No, it was here. not. It wasn't meant to be. Here, that was a very it backhanded. Wasn't compliment. meant to be backhanded. It's a compliment. I have nothing but to respect for you. You know that, Tom is so <laughs> That's how we can joke together like this. So, who are you picking, Michigan or Florida State? You know, you know it, not Michigan because they're I mean, in the Big Ten. No, no. It, 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 seriously, I mean, I, I, I think if Florida State shoots well. You know, and if Michigan shoots well, I think Florida State could beat them because of depth, because of size. Although Michigan's got pretty good size. But if Michigan's defense can be as good as I think it could be certain nights, I think Michigan wins. And uh, that's going to be a heck of a game that night. And there's going to be, as we all know, some strange games with the number of double-digit seeds still in. You know, it's, it's always a Syracuse that's hard to play against. It'll, You know, I, I still... You know, you like Gonzaga, but, you know, they haven't had those wars every day. What happens is it gets tougher now because, you know, at the first round, when you're playing a 16 and an 8, it's not as that second round here gets a little tougher for them. And I still think Baylor is one of the, you know, they got depth. They got unbelievable guard play. And, and that's why I say Brooks is such a key. I mean, Smith will do his job. But well, don't forget about Brooks Sister Jean and Divine play. Intervention with Loyola of Chicago, Coach. I mean, <laughs> it, you know. Well, my assistant, Doug Wojcik's son's on that team. And so, um, you know, I, 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 I think Sister Jean is helping them. And uh, uh, Brother Tom didn't help us. So I don't know. I got to go meet <laughs> Sister Jean and see how I can do that. But, uh, you know, Loyola, I think, is favored, and I do think they'll they'll win the next game. Uh, so it's really going to be an interesting round, and 
your correspondent will watch it closely. And on Monday, that. I'll give you the uh, unprofessional uh, advice that I can can give you. How's that, guys? It's excellent. Last quick question for both you and Mr. Courtney, and that is, this is important, Godzilla versus Kong. Who do you pick, Godzilla or Kong, Coach? <laughs> God, I, boy, I'll take Kong. How's that? I took Kong. Uh, Brian Morton, yeah. our engineer, is going with Godzilla all the way. Steve? I, 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 uh, I don't know. I... <laughs> I, 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 okay, he's speechless. I, I, because I could really care less, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. so, um, I know the check will be in the mail, but I just want to tell you guys, I appreciate being your correspondent. I'll try to do my job here diligently by watching games uh, these next couple days and uh, look forward to talking to you on Monday. All right, we guys? appreciate it, Coach. Please All don't. Right, Tom. Hey, listen, please. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll email you the expense form. Don't, do, okay, man. All I'm going to say, Tom, is don't stand by the mailbox waiting for that check. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's raining out right now anyway. Thanks, Coach. Believe Have it or good not, over the, over the 20-some years, I've gotten paid uh, numerously from your great uh, station, so I appreciate it. Man. You guys have been great. Well, God bless you. Thanks, Tom. You've been great. Bye, guys. Us. Yeah. See you later. Coach Tom Izzo, MSU. And Mr. Courtney's not committing on uh, Godzilla versus Kong, which is very disappointing. Um, I'll well, give then, you one, I don't one know. last chance. I know you don't care, but, I mean, come on. you got to have a feeling. <laughs> uh, Godzilla, just because I, I, I watched it when I was a kid. All right. That's two out of everyone else. Everyone else is going Kong, which is, to me, all American. I'm not familiar with Kong, really. I, I, I've never talked to the guy. He's the king. All right, we got to go. We we, got to go. Uh, 852 at WJR. This report is sponsored by Exergen. Accuracy matters. Get a $5 rebate by trading up any non-contact thermometer toward an Exergen purchased at any retailer. Accuracy matters, especially when it comes to checking for a fever. Exergen's accuracy is backed by published, peer-reviewed clinical studies. Details at exergen.com. Let's check it. Let's see how we're doing uh, in our WJR traffic and weather. First, Dana Clark. That was so lame of Steve. Lame yeah, I mean, I can't believe he wouldn't play along. Seriously? Here. Come on, man. Uh, earlier accident, 94 eastbound after Jackson Road. That uh, collision is clear, seeing a delay from at least M52. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Marathon for commutes that feel like concerts, road trips that don't go as planned, or long drives that bring you closer together. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance for quality fuel through every mile. Fill up at Marathon. Winds rarely whipped up now. The heaviest rainfall tapering off the showers this morning. Clouds give way to some sun this afternoon, 57. Those west winds coming in screaming 30-plus miles per hour. Colder night tonight. Finally back into the 30s, mid-30s. Suburbs even chillier. Considerably cloudy tomorrow, low 60s. Windy with a few showers Sunday, highs low 50s. From the Weather Channel, meteorologist Ray Stajik on News Talk 760 WJR. Every year, Exalta releases a new mobility color. And here to announce the 2021 Global Automotive Color of the Year is Exalta's Global Color Manager, Nancy Lockhart. Exalta's 2021 Color of the Year is Electrolyte, a refreshing green-yellow hue with bold contemporary elements that bring style and functionality to life. The color is soothing and calm with an opaque simplicity, yet exciting and fresh with its vibrancy. Visit exalta.com slash color for more information. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. Hi, Ken and Chuck here, the Inside Outside Guys. You've heard us say many times that painting is not a do-it-yourself project. The folks at Serta Pro Painters know a great paint job starts with the prep, making sure the surface will accept the high quality primers and paints they use. Serta Pro Painters uses only professional technicians and will treat your home with the same loving care you expect. And they're trained to keep you, the homeowner, and the painting team safe. And Serta Pro Painters experts can help with those tough color choices as well as using the right products for the right application. So if you're looking for a weatherproof paint for the outdoors or a scrubbable finish for the kids' room, they can do it all. On time, every time. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. They are right here in your community. So the next time you're considering new paint anywhere in your home, think Serta Pro Painters. Schedule your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Professional painters you can trust. I called my HR department and said, hey, you know, do you have like a PowerPoint or anything like that that gives me a list of things that one would have to do to retire? And their response was, no, we don't have that. 
And I'm like, well, why not? You know, it would have made it a whole lot easier to see a list of things that you have to do and maybe some time in associated with that. Are you thinking about starting your journey into retirement, but you don't know where to start? Go to OFGWealth.com slash checklist and download your copy of the Retirement Plan Checklist. No cost, no obligation. In just a few minutes, you'll have a list to consider as you prepare for your retirement life. If you have or will have $500,000 of investable assets, go to OFGWealth.com slash checklist for your free copy of Asawala Financial Group's Retirement Plan Checklist. Investment advisory services offered through Barber Financial Group, Inc., DBA, Asawala Financial Group, an SEC-registered investment advisor. Know your risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Tune in Sundays at 3 to News Talk 760 WJR to hear about the latest diagnostic technology from Dr. Brian Collender. If your family depends on your income and something happened to you, what would happen to them? You need life insurance, and SelectQuote can help you get it at a price you can afford. SelectQuote found Jacob, 40, who's in excellent health, a 10-year, $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. Not in perfect health? Don't worry. Select quote found Tanya, 40, who has type 2 diabetes, a 10-year, $500,000 policy for only $32 a month. We shop companies like Protective, Prudential, American General, and others to find you the company with the best rates. Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. For your free quote, call 1-800-885-8811. That's 1-800-885-8811. Or go to selectquote.com. That's 1-800-885-8811. Select quote. We shop, you save. Get full details on the example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. Your premium could vary depending on your health, issuing company, and other factors. Not available in all states. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring General Motors. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. I'm sorry. I, as I'm it, like my meetings, uh, sometimes I had me my thing on Zoom while I was trying to check in on Frank. Uh, hopefully everything's okay there, and that he is. Uh, He's there. He's so good. He is, yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> they had to wake him up. Uh, that's what I'm just now reading. I didn't know what was coming next. But thank you to uh, Kathy Steelgrave and Jim Quick. And uh, for giving us a tour of history in the making, Factory Zero, congratulations to all the hardworking men and women uh, at uh, General Motors and being a part of our WJR Roadshow. Thanks to our good friends at Lear Corporation, as well as Continental Structural Plastics, Bridgestone, Aurea, and Exulta for uh, our Roadshow. Don't forget, uh, with the Sunday, Palm Sunday, we also have Good Stater Passover starting for you. Uh, and some great basketball. We'll have it uh, Sunday at 5 o'clock as the University of Michigan men take on the Florida State. The women are playing in the Sweet 16 for the first time, and that'll be happening on Saturday. So we've got a lot going on. Thanks to Ann Thomas, our executive producer, Brian Morton, uh, Marie Osborne, uh, Dana Clark, and, of course, Mike Kim Smith for all the help. Most importantly, thanks to you. Now the very big show Frank Beckman's last show as the Frank Beckman Show from 9 till noon is coming up next from Boyne. And we'll look forward to joining you Monday morning from 6 till 10 for the time being till we get everything all worked out. Come on out, make it a great uh, rest of the day. And uh, I missed this uh, yesterday because we were so busy. Uh, belated happy birthday to Tom Monahan and Monroe's favorite coach, Ray Lowers. Again, have a great one. Take care of each other. Talk to you Monday, good Lord willing. Regards, Paul W. Smith. This report is sponsored by Mary.